where my rage pig sweet chat. Oh, oh, do we have a special presentation? Jimco has put together something that you're never going to forget, an event for the ages. Let's get rid of that pre-stream roll. I hope you're all feeling good today. Farmer Jimmo is uh, here for the harvest. And look at all those super chats. I hear him hollering, chat. He's a fixin' to holler. Put up a little a little poll at the very start here, just before we started the stream, to see what people were ready to do tonight. Tonight, are we hollering, or are we fixin' to holler? There's a world of difference between it. it looks like the chat's evenly split. We've got 50% of the 5,000 votes for hollering. And 50% of the votes for fixing to holler. Oh boy. It's going to be a wild one. Now usually I read Super Chats at the end. And I'm going to do that again, obviously. But I don't want to be, I don't want to pull a Ralph here. And charge people for an event. And then completely drop the ball like a bitch. And ignore them while I scream on the internet. So all those big donators, let me just take a moment to say thank you. Ricada Law. Jim, YouTube stole my chat last time. Can't watch, but I'm sure you'll have fun. Hope someone archives this. Oh, I think it's that lawyer guy. Oh, he's picking on those pigs. Why you gotta be so mean, Nick? Hogs gotta live. Hogs need life out there, Nick. Why you gotta bully so much? Got another hundred from Evil Bunny. Jeez. Okay, let's make it ten times as much as Ralph Bunny Bunny. Rolling in the dough. Somebody paid the entrance fee for the bowling event at $60. Richard Pierce. Tickets to this bowling event were $60. Bucks, I hear. Here's $60 bucks for not subjecting me to an evening of re <laughs> severe autism and retardation. I've got one. Oh, we got 50 from Vicious Vickers. I'm very much looking forward to this. Well, I I'm, I'm hope you're ready for the show. I know you're looking forward to this. That's a phrase we'll probably never hear out of Ralph when it comes to his son. I'm very much looking forward to this. I think that's something that Ralph just would never utter. <laughs> it's something that's never going to come up when it comes to a son, is it? You know, like hugs and birthdays and giving a shit. Another $100 from Tall Skinny Geek. We are both fixing to holler and hollering. No making up our mind is necessary. Oh, I see a lot of other super chats, and I appreciate them, and we will read them, but we've got a lot to go over tonight. <laughs> now, maybe for some of you uninitiated, you weren't, you weren't aware of what's going on. Boy, do you have an evening of entertainment awaiting for you. I am a showman, and I do love to put on a show. And what I've got a retarded pig that can do a little dance and a little number, well, I want to share it with the audience. And we've got a hollering hog, and he is a sueeing up the place in a rage pig style, the way we like it. But before we do that, it's a very important message. Very important message. The merch store has been updated. With all your rage pig necessities. That's right, folks. <laughs> In honor of Ethan Ralph, a new <laughs> a new line of products has been created, something I'm sure he'll deeply appreciate. Not shown here is the purse. There is a purse available, as well as a face mask, because we all know Ethan Ralph is very concerned about the coronavirus. And if you share his worries about COVID, be sure to pick up that face mask, that Rage Pig face mask. Let the world know Ethan Ralph is deeply concerned about coronavirus. That's at the merch store. That's where you can pick up all those hot, hot, hot items. Oh, Ralph. That's right, we're selling, we're selling. And now it's not Armani chat. I'm sorry, I can't go super fancy, expensive boy here. I mean, it's just fucking Teespring after all. But there's a little tote carry. <laughs> and there's a face mask. You can live the Ethan Ralph experience. All you're missing are some trash burgers and alcoholism. You'll have to provide those for yourself. I'm sorry, Chad. Well, it looks like our boy, Mr. Ethan Ralph, was in a bit of a cranky mood last night. Oh, he's a little upset, guys. He's a little... Wasn't feeling so... Wasn't feeling so happy. He's a little upset. And since I'm his surrogate father, I guess... He decided to visit me on Twitter. Wanted to swing by and talk to dear old dad. Maybe you, maybe you were around for the last time he did that. It turned out really well for him, I'll be honest. But he decided, oh God, I'm so upset right now. Everybody's being mean to me on the internet because my bowling event's doing real bad. Daddy, I need... Daddy? 
Daddy, I need words of advice because my bowling event is doing real bad. So he swung on by, and I don't know how his little trotters typed out messages to me on that iPhone. You'd think it's pig feet would bla- or break the glass, but apparently he found some way to do it. Maybe some drunk at the bar? Was the alcoholic at the lane? Maybe he did it for him? Could have been any of the guests. There weren't any. <laughs> what had to be Ethan himself, but he decided to swing by Twitter and tell me how his event was going, you know? I wanted a little cheering up. Here I am, Daddy Jim. Daddy Jim loves you. Okay, he's your surrogate father, apparently. So uh, he, he swung by and sent me some messages. So let's start our adventure there. Let's start our adventure there with a rage pig, shall we? First uh, message Ethan sent Daddy. Now, can I do the Ethan voice? I'm a little under the weather. Been chasing hogs today. Sorry if I sound a little under the weather to you. How do I do a dumb southern retard? Oh, can I, can I, can I method act this? Can I pull this down from my, my time on the stage in theater? I don't know. Let's try. From Ethan Ralph. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know if I could do Yeah, well, Flamingo lied. Kind of like your doctor did when he said you had five months to live. Take your boosters yet, Jim? Uh-oh. Somebody woke up on the cranky side. I responded lovingly, because he is my beautiful baby hog. Don't you have a bowling alley wedding to attend? I don't think you like that. Nah, did your wife cook your dog for dinner tonight? Ooh, that's a, that's a low blow. Nobody goes lower than Ethan Ralph. I suppose it helps being four foot eleven, but nobody goes lower than him. Is your wife there to cook dinner for you, or picking up your sloppy seconds on Discord like usual? Daddy, no. Remember when you were obsessed over Ivy Clover and his relationship with Gl- <laughs> with Jade? Why don't you talk about that to the world, Jim? Yeah, it was pretty upsetting when they bought her all the items on her Amazon wish list. Oh wait. I was mixing people up. That was you and Alice. Uh, Don't worry, chat. These will all make a lot more sense as we go forward, but just roll with it. You married the e-whore instead. Lol, what an alpha. I should have followed your example and thumbed the asses of hookers instead. Christ is king. Chat, can I get a G? Can I get a G in chat for God's plan? All right, we need to understand something here. Ethan Ralph is a deeply religious man. He leads a religious life, whether that's not taking care of his children, fucking hookers, going to prison repeatedly. (laughs) It's just engaging in degenerate gambling. Can we get a G for God's plan? I'm pretty sure that that's Jesus' message to the world. When I think good Christian morals, I think huffing shit out of hookers' asses. God's plan, everybody. Can I get that G? Thank you so much, chat. (laughs) Nobody else will even talk to this pussy. He's an embarrassment who pushed the COVID lockdown lies. He still refused to renounce it on air with me. He's a coward who's deeply afraid of death. Remember when you tried and cried on stream? (laughs) Laugh my ass off. I do. Seems our little hog has a bit of memory loss. Guess it's all those... Shaky, shaky pills. Do I have my pill bottle on me, Ralph? Oh, I always come loaded with a pill bottle when I'm talking about my dear old hoggish son. Oh, wee! <laughs> oh, this could be a fun night. Except that never happened. Kind of like your tweets tonight, which I, I've sat and thought and like I've read over that a few times. I don't know what the fuck that really means. I guess that's, is that like wet brain alcoholism? You're kind of like your tweets didn't happen tonight. I'm reading the tweets. He's responded to them. What do you mean kind of never happened like your tweets tonight? I mean, I'm sure there's something clever in there. Maybe he's arguing with a fictitious person on my Twitter account. I don't know. Cops threw no one out. They investigated bomb threats from your fans. Uh Uh-oh. Then they left. Every single one of them shook my hand. You pussies can't shut shit down. It did happen. Live on Monday, Matt's channel. Don't you remember you were drunk like always? It was right before you ran away from Matt in terror. Ran like a little bitch. Imagine being a loser shut-in. Who's afraid of people sneezing on him? Imagine locking down the whole country and giving away our civil rights forever because you're afraid of catching a cold? You're pathetic and scared old man. 
Imagine filming your incredibly small dick on camera as you smell shit from a woman's ass, then turning around to tell your audience to donate for your Christian morals. It's right around this time that uh, my boy, my rage hog, my hollering piggy, uh, got a little angry, stopped responding. I'm not sure what exactly it was I was putting out there that made him upset. You know, just factual tweets, really, discussing things. Based on the images coming from his amazing bowling event. By the way, this is about Ethan Ralph's bowling event. The Kingpin... The Killstream Kingpin Invitational? Oh, it was, a, it was an amazing night. Star-studded. With lots of activities and satisfied guests. Made a lot of money. Wasn't embarrassing at all. Stupid things didn't happen at all. It went really, really well for Ralph. He was doing so good, you guys. The Rage Pig was doing so good. What happened? Now, being Ethan, I'm, I'm used to what happens next. Of course, once Ralph starts tweeting you in a, a seething rage, as he's just a pissing and a shitting and a coming in anger, you know what's coming next. He's pulling out that thesaurus, his dictionary, looking up at the degree on his wall, his bachelor's that he actually didn't ever get. Then he's writing a blog post about you. Of course, I tried to cut him off at the pass a little bit here. Curse you, cancer man. From April 3rd, 2022. I'm a hollering mad, god dang it. And I tell you what, I won't be silent no more. As an award-winning bowler champion of the Killstream Kingpin Invitational, I've led a life of many accomplishments. Now many men have sniffed as many asses as I have. And with those whiffs came knowledge. It's like my daddy always used to say, nose and shit can't ever quit. And that's who I am, a man that doesn't stop. Sue! Of course, the article I was waiting for still hasn't come yet. Now, maybe that's because Ethan Ralph is on the road. <laughs> Probably literally, because he's drunk driving his way across the country as we speak. That's an allegation. Well, it's more of a statement, really. He's probably slamming into light poles. <laughs> He's probably hitting every light pole on his way from fucking Houston all the way on down to Richmond. You want to track him on a map, you don't need GPS. Just look for damage to fire hydrants and light poles. That's how you know the direction Ethan Ralph drove. So maybe he's busy on the road. He can't really get around to writing those award-winning articles that he's so used to doing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Ralph is up to at the moment. Aside from his seething hatred. You know, so people out there covering the event. This is a beautiful story from the uh, World Herald. Memphis man with Down Center Bulls. Perfect game. <laughs> you can see Ralph eyes looking in different directions. I never knew Ralph was such a Mersh super fan. I mean, I'm just surprised that like he'd take it to this level. I have people that are fans of my content. Usually they buy a hat. You know, put on a headphone and that's like their cosplay. But Ralph went the extra mile. He gave himself brain damage so his eyes actually cross. So now when Ralph is scanning the room, he's doing it like a gecko would. It's like a little lizard man. I wonder if the InfoWars guys that were there at this event got scared and thought maybe he's one of those reptilians that Alex keeps talking about. Oh my god. Did you guys bring your bottles of super male vitality? I think those are the lizard people. Alex was fucking right. It's the lizard people are here. Look at his eyes. There's no way that's normal. Normal people don't look like that. Their eyes don't do that. Look how excited he gets when he gets a Funko Pop. Come on. Somebody better tell the quartering he's got competition. Ralph is here to move in on that sector next. From the top on down. Sui viewers. Welcome to Ethan Ralph's Funko Pop collection. <laughs> Where all your vinyl tips are met. I can picture it. Can you? Look at the excitement on his face. Like a special needs child. He's so excited. He's so happy for everything that's going to go on today. <laughs> you're being... Jim, you're being mean. You're being so mean right now, Jim. We're just having fun. Having a little bit... Of some giggles before we get into the main event. I suppose I should be a little bit serious. Some people might not have any idea of what exactly is going on. So, Ethan Ralph, the host of the award-winning podcast, The Kill Stream, top in the sector, decided that he was going to do his first live event, and he was going to host a bowling tournament. 
course, this wasn't any regular bowling tournament. It was also a bowling tournament where he was going to get married as well. <laughs> there were going to be debates and celebrity guests at the bowling alley? Just, you know, magical. It's a magical night. I know a lot of women, their pussies are probably in the audience. They're dripping wet right now, thinking about the man they love, walking them down the lane. <laughs> the wedding rings are attached to pins number seven and nine. Baby. <laughs> For, th baby, uh, do you, will you marry me? Will you marry me? Oh, oh, hold on, honey. Watch watch out. That's a gutter ball. Watch out. Jump a little bit, baby. Jump a little bit. Don't get hit by the gutter ball. This is our magic award-winning evening wedding at the fucking bowling alley <laughs> in another state. Oh, sweetheart, are you coughing a little bit? I'm sorry all that smoke's getting in your face, but all the alcoholics that hang out here won't leave. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to your wedding, baby. It's your dream evening. It's your dream evening. Do we have we have another oh, there we go, there we go. That's a better picture. I think that more in cat Baby Oh honey pa are you oh, welcome to the bowling alley your dreams? I'm gonna make you a proud woman. I want you to walk down lane number nine with me, baby. Oh, when we're going to get married while the gutter balls fly, as my poppy taught me. My poppy told me, Ralphie, if you marry a woman in the gutter, she won't leave you there. She's got to drag you out to divorce your ass. It's only on the way up you can go. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I imagine that picture is saying. That's what I imagine. That's what I imagine. That picture said some advice his daddy gave him. He's also very happy he got himself. Somebody did a, a, a picture of him winning the award. You know, shark champion 2022. That's a little, it's a kiwi there. Why does that hat say Kid Diddler? And why is he wearing, I like how his cowboy hat on top of his giant mango head. It doesn't even come off like a cowboy hat. It looks more like a fireman's hat from like the 1940s. You'll see that too when we look at the live footage. Like when you see Ethan Ralph running by, <laughs> who am I kidding? When you see Ethan Ralph waddling by at a brisk pace, a brisk pace, who am I kidding? When you see him slowly crawling by in his cowboy hat, you probably think, shit, is there like a fire going on somewhere? Is that like a four alarm or something? I'm not sure what's going on. Now, this was a star-studded event. I mean, we had Dick Masterson. See here, pictured next to the world's fattest Mersh. It's the world's fattest Mersh <laughs> in his Hawaiian shirt. That uh, that Jim has been working out really well for Mersh. You can tell he's getting fit, toned, looking sexy, muscular, bod, rocking it in that Hawaiian shirt. Looks like he's about to go into labor. I don't think that's a bowling ball he's holding up. I think that's the first of the four kids he gave birth to at the event. Dick, that's why he's leaning away slightly. All of them are, in fact, because Mersh has lifted his arms and the smell is just gag-worthy. They're all kind of, oh my God, what is that smell? Why does it smell like bacon and balls? Is that, did Mersh, did Mersh lift his arm? No, he's been working out. After those T-Rex comments, he wants to show the girls a good time with his little T-Rex finger banks. <laughs> so he walks, he's, it was a coincidence. He just carries bowling balls around to get that muscular, muscular arms going. Now, sadly, um, Dick bailed. What a shock. If you remember the Portugal trip, Dick Masterson was uh, supposed to attend, was supposed to go to Lisbon with Ralph mysteriously um, exploded his arm or his foot. It was a catastrophic accident in the kitchen, from what I remember. <laughs> well, it happened again, folks. After being at the event for just merely an hour, Dick Masterson was in a tragic bowling-related accident and had to get the fuck out of there. No show this week. I tore something in my arm last night bowling, and now I can barely move my bicep is balled up. Probably a torn ligament. I changed my flight home to Monday so I could recover with the ROTC boys, but it looks like I'll just be in bed all day. Fun event otherwise. Somebody asking, is it a torrid labium? And I'm saying it's the elbow. I think it's uh, probably a little bit of inflammation, a little bullshititis is what he's suffering in his arm right now. I don't know, Dick, you're running out of body parts. I don't know how many more events you can do with Ethan, but I think he's going to catch on. <laughs> oh, I broke my foot. Oh, shit, my arm got shattered. Dick, you're going to look like you're, you've walked through Ukraine <laughs> if you keep hanging out with Ethan Ralph. You're going to have to start buying your own casting kits to do fake uh, fucking <laughs> fake medicine to make it look like you visited a doctor. Oh, God. Ethan, I'd love to go to your birthday party, but my dick exploded. 
<laughs> Can't you? Oh my god, Ethan, I'd love to come visit you, but I'm paralyzed now. <laughs> my spine has been shattered. Bane, uh, I guess is a real person, doesn't just exist in those movies, came by and shattered my spine. Ethan, I can't go to your event. I'm so fucking terribly sorry. Oh my god, champ. I'd love to come visit you, uh, but a crazy woman ripped my eyes out. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing these sunglasses. Um, I, I'd show you my eyes, but they've been ripped out, and it's very tragic. <laughs> it's gonna look like... Dick's gonna look like he's yeah, like a Hellraiser movie extra at the end of this, by the time he's fucking done with it. Oh, so where to start our story with the rage pick? Because it just can't start, right? It just can't be a, here's the event and here's how disastrous it was. Ethan, uh, he's got that southern showmanship hospitality shit going on, where he's got to make an ass out of himself, like 24 hours before the event, during the event, and 24 hours after the event. And so, to bring you up to speed, Nick Ricada, one of the donators from earlier, one of those bully jerks, picking on a hog, was going to go on to a podcast. Uh, what is it? The You Are Here podcast with Elijah Schaefer, I think it is. Now, originally, Ethan was supposed to go on that. See, Nick had been on previously, and Ethan was going to go on, and he was going to teach Nick Ricada a lesson, I guess. But Ethan, you know, toughest man in the sector. Ain't nobody going to stop me, uh, bowed out like a little bitch, and decided he wasn't going to show up said, I'm not going on your podcast. Now, this was scheduled a day before his bowling event in the same area, really. So Ethan's not going to show up. So who shows up? Nick Ricada shows up. Of course, Ethan didn't like that very much. He decided he was going to he was gonna show them A-hogs. Always out here A-hogging me. Squeeing at me, making those suey noises, drive me crazy at night. Well, Ethan was going to show them A-hogs at the Blaze TV. <laughs> the Blaze TV fucking corporate headquarters. He's going to do a little in real life tr uh, live streaming. He's going to bring the power of his audience to bear down against Blaze TV. Oh boy, I bet they were scared shitless. So let's uh, let's roll that beautiful footage. Apparently they're not going to let me in the building today. Usually animals aren't allowed in buildings, but let's just assume Ethan didn't understand that. Sad. Very sad. Very sad that Nick Ricada would take pl take part in such a such a sad event here. Do you hear how winded he is? Now I know when I do these live streams, I've got a little bit of that smoker's cackle going off. You know that's because I'm a chain smoker and I have cancer, so I probably don't sound super healthy. But this is Ethan out on a, a windy, bright, sunny summer day. Well, it's spring, it's getting there. Down in Texas with his giant 48 gallon hat. Looking like a cartoon character that came off some shitty 60s cartoon. And he's already winded. He's walked about three feet from his fucking uh, guntmobile. And he's already winded. Just holding his arm up with that selfie stick has burned more calories than this fat fuck has done. <laughs> In probably weeks. So, I was sitting around thinking. I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come up to Blaze Studios. Do a little ambush of my own. Then I made a few phone calls, and I thought, I thought they were going to let me in, actually. I thought the people at corporate were going to let me in. You know, the guy that's been screaming about how their employees are all gay. Oh, I forgot to mention, Ethan decided the best way to set up a, a business relationship with another, you know, corporate entity out there in the sector that he uh, purports to be a part of is to uh, repeatedly say that the hosts are involved in uh, gay orgies. He went on a long tirade on his show about how Elijah was uh, secretly gay and having gay sex. Uh, and you'll, you'll actually see him confront him and say those things. And then it's a mystery to Ethan as to why nobody will let him in the building. It's almost like when you're a giant retarded rage pig that squeeze and haws and sues at people. Uh, people don't want to let you in the building. They, they feel a little nervous. They don't know what piggy's going to do. I mean, is this guy, guy going to shit in our sinks? Is he going to go truffle hunting in our fucking garbage cans? I don't know what this animal's going to be up to. Where's his human handler? But uh, apparently, apparently the uh, the head people in charge here decided they weren't going to let me in the building. So, oh, here goes Elijah right here, actually. Oh, wow. That's cool. There goes Elijah right here. Let's see what he's got to say. 
Elijah, what's up, brother? God, I can I can hear the fat literally dripping off of him. I wonder if like the poor janitor had to take a mop out into that fucking parking lot after this was done. Like how many pounds of sweat do you think we're coating, glistening, like oil? Like oil on a, a night where you're making a big family fucking meal. Just all over that brickwork. Oh, I guess the Rage Pig's been here. Watch your step, everybody. Put the signs up. Wouldn't want anybody slipping on the Rage. How's it going, man? Hey, what's up, man? Good afternoon. How you doing? I heard your producer wouldn't let me in, man. Yep. What's the deal? They said y'all weren't going to be talking about me tonight. Is that true? Have you ever engaged in homosexual acts with men, Elijah? Now, this must be a traumatic experience for Ralph, because once again in his life, an adult male figure is walking away without acknowledging him. I think that's where the deep-seated rage is really coming from. You know, it reminds him of his daddy. Anytime he sees a man just walk away without giving two shits, as Elijah has done here, won't even look at him or acknowledge him. It's like, oh shit, it's a rage pig. I don't know you, Tubby. I'm going to walk over this way. Just sends Ralph into a tizzy. I think that might be what's happening at this exact moment. That's what I was talking Yeah, what's up? Oh man, sad, 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 pathetic, pathetic. Wow. Did you need help, sir? Yeah, they had me booked for the show today. No, sir. I was asking, did you need mental help? Clearly, you're insane. I'm just a security guard here, but it looks like you're about ready to rage pig out on me here in the parking lot. I've seen a few meth heads do that before. That's what I meant when I said, do you need help, sir? Okay, so is there any guy coming with now? Well, ask him if they're going to... Sorry about that. I'm going to do like, again, every other male adult figure in your life and just fucking ignore you. My phone rang, which is now more important than anything you might have to say, hog boy. <laughs> oh, it's my wife texting me. You know what a wife is? Oh, <laughs> of course you don't. You're divorced. Yeah, she loves me. I work this job. It's not that great. But occasionally I run into fat pigs like you and I can, I can you know, just talk to her about it and we have a good giggle. Thinking about how good our life is and that we'll never be like you. But I'm sure you're going to keep hollering, sir. Oh, you're still there? Shit. He's still here, honey. Don't let me in, I guess. Well, they don't have you booked anymore. Then. Well, are you going to ask him or do you know? I don't know anything. Well, ask him for me. Are they saying? Huh? Well, who, do you, who can you call? I could probably call animal control, but I don't think that's going to have the same result you're hoping for. I mean, we could do that. Do you want me to call animal control? We can find your owner, maybe a farmer somewhere, field nearby. I don't know. I'm not from the area. As far as what? Well, I mean, is it cool if I hang out in the parking lot and stream? Or are y'all going to, should well, I leave the property? Is that what I mean? It is private property if you have no reason I, to Am leave. I being asked to leave? Yes, sir. I yeah, we're, we're asking you to leave. I thought that was obvious when the host of the show that works at this building just completely ignored you and walked away. And as I look at my phone playing Tetris... I thought you'd pick up on that clue, but I guess I could make it more clear. Should I get my chalkboard to draw you a picture? I know those southern intellects aren't known for being super high IQ. Maybe that's a problem. I'm being asked, on behalf of the Blaze, you're asking me to leave the property. Yes, sir. If, okay. if you have no business, do you have business being here? Well, they, I was invited to the show, yeah. Okay, so are you invited or are you not invited? I am invited to the show. Okay, who's your contact? Uh, Elijah Schaefer personally invited me to the show, actually. Oh, the man you were screaming at in the parking lot was your personal contact to the show? The guy that completely ignored you and wouldn't acknowledge you, you're alive? That, that was your personal contact, sir? I'm going to have to ask my wife about this. Honey, honey, you won't believe it. There's a talking pig in the parking lot. It attacked Elijah Schaefer. I can't fucking believe it. And now it wants me to let it in the building. What do I do? Okay, then how can we walk past it? Well, because there's been some friction, I guess, around my appearance. Okay, so you're not invited anymore. I don't know if that's true, actually. Okay. Uh, well, I do, because I actually am paid for uh, by this company. I work here. You see this uniform? I don't wear it because I think it's sexy, sir. I wear it because I actually get paid to wear it. Unlike that ridiculous cowboy hat you have on your head, I'm actually paid money to dress like this. So I think I have it on good authority that, yeah, you probably aren't allowed in the building. Well, well just ask him. Well, they haven't told me anything. Yeah. If they haven't told me. Well, you don't seem to know anything. That's what I'm saying. I know enough to know if you don't have any business being here, they would have allowed you in. So because. Why didn't you try to come in? Yes, but as you, as you saw, he walked past you. So. So if, you're gonna call the police if I don't leave? You will be uh, trespassed. Yes. Uh, you will call the blaze. Will call the police, and they won't let me into the studio. That's what you're telling me. I see. Maybe there's. 
maybe there's some miscommunication going on here. This is why I went to community college before becoming a security guard at the Blaze to take a few different uh, language courses in case I ever ran into this. Uh, let me try to put this in a language you'll understand. Do you understand that, sir? Um, I'm a little rusty on hog. Let me try. Do you, is that, is that, no? You're not understanding that? I will call the police. Okay. And I trust that. Okay, so that's a public property right outside, though, right? As far as what? So the street's public property, though, right? Correct. Okay, I'll be out in the street then. Okay. Right outside here. I just want to know what's y'all's property and what's not, though, because I don't want to trespass. This, this entire parking lot. So, but once I get outside the parking lot, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, so, sir, um, these big things we call buildings, these are what humans live in, and we work in them, too. Um, these are all our buildings. That would be considered private. Now, I know when you're in the hog pen, a rolling around in the pig shit, it's all a communal experience. It's very communist living in the pig pen. But here in capitalist reality, where we actually build our pig pens out of bricks and mortar and call them buildings... That would be private property, and you need to get the fuck out of here. Well, as long as I'm not breaking the law. And anywhere you see parking lot, sir, is 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 property. Okay, Street, so but sidewalk. You're once good. I'm on the other side, I'm good. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Wow. Very. I love how he sounds like DSP. He sounds like DSP after he just got killed in Dark Souls. Wow. I can't believe security is asking me to leave the facility after I call the people that work there homosexuals engaged in gay orgies. Wow! I'm hitting buttons! Sad display here by the blaze. These pathetic faggots wouldn't let me in the building. Wow. Wow! So that was Ethan at the blaze. Now there's more to it. But I saw Big Dono come through, and remember I said when Big Donos come through, we're going to read them because we're not Ethan Ralph. From our rat for a hundred dollars. Wow! Whispers into the mic. I love you, Pippa. There you go. Hopefully that picked up well enough. I, I hope so. My voice is going to be shit after this, doing the a rage picking that I am. So, Ethan's bowling event is the very next day. This is the previous day. He decides to go to the Blaze TV and scream in the parking lot like a drunk hillbilly. Didn't really work out as well as he had hoped it would. Made a bit of an asshole of himself, really, to be honest with you. But there's more video. He decided to be a little bit of a hip-hop star, you know, hanging outside the gates, because now they've told him, get off our property. Ethan doesn't take too well to that, so he decides, I'm going to stand on the sidewalk. I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to do... My daddy told me, don't you ever, ever leave the place. You stand outside there and you do a hip-hop rap like a white man would do. So, here's a little footage from that. Uh, this oh, nope, nope. Oh, boy. Oh, I almost, I almost, I hit the wrong video. Oh, I'm getting the sequence of order. Everything's getting confused. I think it's the oxygen deprivation from doing the hog noises cut off a little bit of the air to my brain. It's made me go a little retarded. Well, at least maybe now I can talk to Ralph on a peer-to-peer -peer level. The brain damage just kicked in. That video. Well, you know, we'll play that video right now. So while Ralph is outside of the building screaming, let me in, let me in, <laughs> it's like a really twisted version of the three little piggies. Rather than the big bad wolf trying to get his way in, it's one fat fucking hog trying to do it. And inside the building, well, inside the building is our lawyer friend, Nick Riqueda, who's on the podcast at that very moment. And what are they talking about on the podcast? Let's, uh, let's listen in. Let's see what's going on. Uh, this is from Mr. Mediker. Okay, Mr. Mediker says, question for your guest. I think that's me, but maybe Jorge. Okay, maybe, let's do it. Maybe Jorge. Jorge. My neighbor has a pet hog, and it hollers really loud. Is that legal? That's a this good is, question. It's the first Wait. part of the question. There's a follow-up, but... I'll say yes. So, okay, so a hollering hog is legal. Fuck, dude, they're going to give me some inside joke. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's no, like... No, mm. stop it. There's no... Uh, see, he, sa he follows up. He says, dude. I'm pretty sure that at a certain decibel level, it is legally considered a rage pig and a public nuisance. What say you to that? I mean... I agree. Serious, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> George, you're laughing and I don't like this. Okay, sorry, sorry. I don't want to be a bigot. Can why are we please, talking about Rosie O'Donnell? Stop. This is a very big question about rage pig. Please go. Then I guess at a certain decimal it would be illegal. 
Right, he, it's a it's a public nuisance because it yes, interferes. Yes, the peace. So the public nu- nuisance standard is: does it interfere with your quiet enjoyment of your property? Right. Yes. So if if your neighbor is a has a giant hog that is hollering, at <laughs> eventually it involves your quiet enjoyment, right? Yes. Yeah. What if your What if your property is the entirety of the planet? Like, how loud would that rage pig have to be? Hmm, that's a good question. I mean, not too. Uh, if it was a planet, uh, well, not too loud. Not too loud. No, it wouldn't have to be too loud. It wouldn't have to be too loud. Right. If it just had like a small internet channel or whatever. Like if a pig had it. <laughs> Pigs don't have fingers. I know what you're they doing. can't type. I'm okay, not. Nick. I'm just. <laughs> what. <laughs> So while Ralph is out there in the parking lot, you can see people at the the Blaze, Nick, and the other guests. I think he said Jorge. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, we're discussing the legalities of uh, hollering hogs at uh, obscene decibel levels in the neighborhood. I mean, this is an important legal question. I'm sure you appreciate it, chat. And uh, Glenn, Beck's <laughs> Glenn Beck's news station uh, is always willing to help us out with those sticky legal situations. Of course, uh, Ethan, once again, anytime it involves a, a male figure that's ignoring him, has to tweet out at them like it's a surrogate father, tweets out, I went to Blaze Studio. I went to the Blaze Studios for my uh, invited appearance on Elijah Shaver's show, even though he talked shit about me all week and attempted to set me up for an ambush. They refused to let me in. They threatened to call the cops and then did it while I was streaming across the street. Now, I want you to imagine this. This might traumatize some of you because maybe you were this kid. I, I don't mean to pick on you if you were. But for the vast majority of us, this picture, I think, summarizes an experience maybe a lot of you are familiar with from childhood. That being the odd man out. I want you to picture an entire building full of people all looking out the windows at a lone fat man in an oversized cowboy hat with a selfie stick, walking through the parking lot alone, screeching to himself, and just giggling. I want you to imagine every woman and man at that office looking out the window and this is what they see. A big, fat idiot in his cowboy hat and all-black outfit and his selfie stick. A just a squealing out there and a raging. He's a hollering and a fixing to holler. And they're all just giggling because he's never going to be let in. He's like the kid that doesn't get let up in the tree fort. That's what this fucking picture is. This is a, I don't know who snapped this picture. Maybe it was that security guard. Maybe he's like, nobody's ever going to believe me if I tell him about this story. I should go up to the third floor. (laughs) <laughs> which is five times the height of Ethan Ralph, and uh, take a picture of this so I can put it on Facebook later and show my colleagues at uh, at the Ball Cops of America Facebook page what I've been dealing with. There he is just walking around with a selfie stick, driven off the parking lot and laughed at from the studio. Ethan had no choice then but to stand outside and do a bit of a live stream, an impromptu live stream, a little hip-hop live stream. They told me to leave or they would have me arrested. Do you understand? I got, you know, I live a colorful life. I can't afford to catch a trespassing charge. And that's not really a big charge, by the way, but I can't, even that little charge I can't afford right now. So, pathetic. I better move into my truck. I think the blaze called the police over. They're so butthurt. <laughs> Well, we'll get in the truck. We'll see. Hey, hey where did you hear the cops are coming? By the way, you're on the air, obviously. I know, chat. Man, yeah, they were trying to fucking have us arrested at the fucking parking lot. Now, you might be curious, why why would Ethan be worried about that? I mean, okay, it's a trespassing charge, whatever. He's out on the sidewalk. He's probably fine. Maybe gets a little hassle from the cops. Uh, that's because he's on... Oh, and it's not a suspended sentence. It's a stayed sentence, like a state execution. So he had a revenge porn case that he went to trial for, and then I believe pled guilty and got a stayed conviction, which means if he fucks up at any time, even in the most minimal of ways, within the next year, he's going to jail. So even if the Blaze had called the cops and said, we've got a holler and hog on our property, Ethan would have been taken down to the pound. And that's not where he wants to go. So there he is, all very upset, very, very upset. This is the day before his live event. Now, he wants to uh, promote himself. This is his new appeal. He's the the villain. He's going for a WWE thing, really. 
with his approach to real life. Worked out so well for Tonka, I'm sure it'll work out great for Ethan. But there was other things on his mind. Now those other things were a girl named Alice. Alice had all sorts of uh, dark accusations against Ethan Ralph. I won't go into them uh, completely because I'm, I'm still not in total cunt mode. We're still just having a little bit of a laugh, really. But she had some things to say about him, uh, maybe taking advantage of her. Some very unpleasant things. But I don't want to make you upset. This is a happy bowling event. This is this is a Jimco Gunterball extravaganza. And this beautiful woman, <laughs> I don't want to upset you with what was going on. But one thing Alice did do was she leaked DMs between her and Ralph. Now, Ralph is in a committed relationship. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Ralph is in a relationship, but he's still sniffing hooker asses. And any time a woman walks by a pig, he goes on that truffle hunt. And apparently he thinks those truffles are up their butts. So once Alice accidentally walked by him, that must mean it's mating time. So he began to DM her. And it's a long exchange, but I picked a few things up in there that I think are are pertinent. One goes back to a a previous live stream well, uh, Ralph was on, one that I was on with him, if you remember the Monday match stream. I think it's educational. I think we're going to get some insight here based on what Ethan Ralph said in those DMs. I present to you Sandy Berries. The moment somebody shakes a pill bottle, like, you fall into like, a tailspin. Oh. You did that for like six, eight months straight. It's like, okay, well, clearly this guy I, 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 I with me. Okay, I a pill bottle sound three, four times, and that was enough to make What's, you oh, do that. But even before that, like, do you not understand? You're telling me that rattling a pill bottle has bled you to why this point you in your life? Why would you do that? Like, what the fuck? Because it's you... funny. Okay, but why would you, like... It just seemed, well, but you're rattling your your, your pill bottles on, on every show. You're talking shit about where they I co-signed the video related to me, Maminko, and Gator shaking pills because that is something I find funny. You want to there said, Ralph's a fat gun and shook your fucking pill bottle. Can you, you know? send me the audio where I said that? Okay. Well, you shook your pill bottle for sure. Okay, so you're you're attributing a whole bunch of shit to a pill bottle. I mean, that really got you fucked up. Why does that Why? fuck you up so like, much? What the fuck? That's years ago, dude. Like, why does that bother you so much? Because I don't fucking like thinking about that. The pill bottle specifically fucks you up that much. I got a lot of reasons why I don't fucking shake. You know, I don't fuck with you about your worst fucking moment every fucking time you come on air. Like, what the fuck? I, I don't know that's your worst moment. You're telling me the pill hey, stream well, was the no, worst moment? No, it's not. A little, you know? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Mamiko's here. How you doing, Mamiko? <laughs> oh, I got my... Oh, I, I can't hear you. Are you doing good? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you there? I, I, maybe it's too hot outside. I, I, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. Well, my God. It's not true. Oh, there go. It's not true. <laughs> uh, let me join in on the fun here, guys. Oh, no. There we go. Now we all have pill bottles. Uh-oh. Oopsie toodles. That uh, that little screenshot up there, the there's years I don't even hardly remember because of the Xanax lull. They're great for sleeping and just forgetting. I think we might have uncovered the reason why Ralph gets so upset when you shake those pill bottles. Oh, yeah. Mamanko! Mamanko! Mystery solved, chat. The Rage Pig gets a little upset. Uh, those are his words, not mine. Those are from the leaked de uh, Alice DMs. Uh oh Oh, I've never heard of a pig that's been prescribed Xanax. That doctor is going to lose his license. I don't think you can. Can you give animals people medicine? Is that allowed? I think I think Ralph might be in trouble. I think that doctor might. But there's more chat. Remember, Ralph uh, uh, subscribes to the alpha male male dominant Jack Murphy lifestyle where bitches don't know shit and stuff. I mean, he's a he's a ladies man. He knows how to get those panties dropping. Or at least that's what he tells his audience. What's the reality, though? Oh, I wonder. Some women are made to be treated like whores. Most of them. As a matter of fact, this is just a, a standard operating procedure. And he's he's going around, falling around, and all doing all this simp shit. That's not what this slut respects. Do you understand? 
Tell her you want to stick your dick down her throat right here in this fucking bathroom. I got fucking half a gram of cocaine on me. I want you to suck my dick right here in this fucking bathroom, you dirty slut, because that's the type of shit you like. That's what gets your dick sucked. Not... No, no. Dirty skank doesn't respect that shit. She thinks you're a beta. She thinks you're a pussy. Tell her to go in there in that bathroom. I'm coming. I'll be there in a minute. Get ready to fucking choke this down, whore. You know that's what you want, bitch. Literally. That's how you... That's how you... I'm trying to help him out here. I'm trying to help him out here. Beta! Oh, he's trying to help him out, chat. Trying to teach him the, lay, the ways of a lady's pig. <laughs> don't y'all be a simp. Oh, my. Oh, women are all dirty. Oh, don't you be a simp. As he's running around buying her every item on her Amazon wish list to the tune of $2,000. She knew she had such a sucker that in those DM leaks, she actually added shit on to her Amazon wish list. When Ralph started talking about, I want to be your secret Santa... This chick went to Amazon and added another 400, 500 bucks worth of shit to her Amazon wish list. Oh, that, that's the manly move? Is that how you do it? Do you walk into a bar and say, hey, baby, pull your phone out and show me what you want on Amazon. I'm going to buy the shit out of it. You like that? Oh, yeah, baby. You like that shit, don't you? You got, a, you got an OnlyFans, honey? Oh, triple subscribed. Oh, uh, quadruple subscribed. Man's man coming up in here. Oh, ladies. Ladies, watch out. You got a PayPal? Vend me those shit. Uh, vend me though that shit. You got a cash app, honey? Uh, ladies man coming through. The super king. <laughs> ladies man. Now, one of the interesting things uh, that makes this clip extra funny um, in context, because Alice did make some allegations, and, you know, Alice is Alice. I can't put much stock in a thing she says. But she made it sound, uh, she alleged Ethan took advantage of her, I don't know if you'd call that sexual assault, molestation, rape, whatever. I can't speak to that. But I want you to recall this conversation that happened, and just imagine how uncomfortable this is, because her allegations would have happened around the time this conversation played out. Me, me getting with, like, Bakes was completely, like, uncalled for. I just got, like, invited to... Did he rape you? <laughs> Can you say he raped you, please, live on air? Oh, like, give me no, that. No, no. There was... Hang on, he's a hang rapist. Hang on, hang on. No, wait, there, what the he's fuck? Not, he's not he's a rapist, He's a literal but... rapist. No, no, rapist. What the no, fuck? No, no, no. You can't say this that. Is, this is levels of jewelry that shouldn't exist. <laughs> you can't say that. She said he had sex with her against her her consent, which would be rape. Come on, Ding. I think we need to get Mersh's opinion on this since he's always got such hot fucking takes. He was so convinced that Baked Alaska was a, a, a rapist who took advantage of a girl against her will, remember. Now, if he were to hear a similar story involving another person whose podcast he was on, would he be drunkenly exclaiming they're a rapist? I wonder. It wasn't... It was not rape. He never it was raped me. I, I don't know where you, where you pulled that out of your ass, but it's completely fucking fake fuck? news. Coercion? He did not rape me. It was 100% consensual. Um, the only thing that I would say is kind of like faulty is probably that like I felt like I had to fuck him in order to like be on his stream and be content. That's like, called I feel coercion. Like he, oh my God. he would have like thrown me to the That's side rape. if I wasn't fucking him. Ralph. That's called coercion. That's rape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, shit's getting a little uncomfortable, chat. That's hitting a little too close to home. I don't know if anybody wants to ask Mersh if he even interacts with his audience anymore uh, instead of just hiding away <laughs> because they keep making fun of him. Now, if anybody wants to ask him if he's got a hot take on this one, because she's, uh, she's claiming that Ralph did what he's claiming that Baked did. So are we going to get a disavowal from Mersh? Or is Mersh just a fat, dumb hypocrite? I mean, we saw his picture, so we know he's definitely fat. But is he also a dumb hypocrite? I don't know. Mersh, do you have any comment on this? I've already given my take. I, uh, I, I, you know, my take on this is, eh, maybe, maybe not. This is an IP2 streamer thought, so I don't know what to make of it. But Mersh seemed to be Mr. Morals out there. Christ is king, God's plan. So let's see if God's plan has a fucking statement on what's going on with Alice and Ralph. Waiting to hear from you, Mersh. Waiting to hear your hot fucking take. And after you tell us your take, Mersh, be sure to swing by the merch store 
and buy a Rage Pig face mask. We don't want coronavirus spreading. We all need to do our part. Remember, Ethan Ralph wants to keep us safe. <laughs> Can you believe we're an hour into this shit? And we haven't even got to the main event yet? We're just, 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 just the, this is the lead up. So Ralph is going to host this big fucking event down in Texas. He gets invited onto the blaze. He completely fucks it up, gets made fun of. Everybody laughs at him. Alice starts dropping all these allegations on the Kino Casino with Andy Worski and PPP. And this all happens within the week of lead up to his event. The event that he was going to marry his girl at. He was going to have a bowling alley wedding. Holy shit. He was going to have a bowling alley wedding with his girl. And then here comes some chick calling him a rapist. Here comes uh, Nick Ricada laughing at him from the third floor with Elijah Schaefer and the security guard pointing at his selfie stick and cowboy hat. Ralph's running away from the property because he doesn't want to go to prison. And now it's time. Oh my god, I got the burps. When you make hog noises, it brings up all that gaseous bubbles. Now calm yourself down, Ralph. All, all that gas came out of my mouth, so it's not the kind you'd be interested in. Maybe if it came out the other side, I'd have to worry about locking the door, but I think I should be safe. So this all leads up to the Kingpin Killstream Invitational Bolarama, whatever the fuck he calls it. So are you ready, chat? I know I've talked. I've talked for a little while here. Let me let me ask the chat. Let's do a poll. <laughs> Let's do a poll about this. <clears throat> Very on point. Before we get into the main show. I'll let you tell me what you think, chat. This is very important. Can pigs take human medicine? <laughs> is that is that allowable? I don't know. I need to pull chat before we get into this. We'll we'll take a few minutes. See what everybody's saying. Uh now to tell you what the event as you're all voting, to tell you what the event was going to be. Ralph was going to have a bowling tournament. That was part of the event. There was going to be a debate between Destiny and somebody from InfoWars. That was part of the event. Stand-up routine from Pat Dixon, part of the event. There was going to be a panel at the end of the evening with uh, ROTC, that's Revenge of the Sis, Mersh and all of them. Uh, we're going to have Dick Masterson and Ralph. They're going to do a panel at the end. That was part of the event. And there was going to be a wedding. That was part of the event. For this entire event, $65 to get in the door. $65 to get in the door and have uh, uh, bowling alley hot dogs. <laughs> bowling alley hot dogs. And watch Ethan Ralph get married, uh, some comedy, some debates, and some bowling. Now that's kind of what we're walking in. Oh, we've got another another big dono coming in from our rat. You look you look beautiful today, Pippa. Pippa, I think you have an admirer. Our rat has asked me to whisper sweet nothings into your ear. I did that earlier. I'll do it once more because that's that's two hundred dollars now. How are you doing, Pippa? I can't do ASMR very well with my cackling smoker lungs. That's why I'm not very seductive at uh, ASMR. It just comes across sounding like I'm going to die. <laughs> when I try to be sexy with my wife, she ends up calling ambulances. Hey, honey, uh, do you want to get... <gasps> so, see, it just doesn't work. Jim can't can't do that. I'm sorry. I tried, though, our rat. Hopefully that works out for you. Let's take a look at our poll. We've had about 5,000 people vote, about half the people watch. We've got 11,000 in attendance today. Wanted to hear the story of a holler and hog. To answer the question, can pigs take human medicine? 51% said yes. Shocking. 49% said no. It's very close, a very divided chat. But the yeses have it. And don't worry, all the other super chatters. I will, I will get to your stuff at the end of the evening. We've got uh, a good amount more to cover. We're only an hour in. <laughs> to this shit show. This absolute fucking trash fire. Can you imagine this? You flew out or you drove out to fucking Texas to go to this dumb bowling alley. You paid $65 to meet Ethan Ralph. And the entire thing implodes. He's in a bad mood. Everything's turning to shit. There are technical difficulties. Audio and video are cutting out. Streams dropping out. People are just walking out the door. Everything is just a disaster. You paid $65 for this and you're waiting for him to fix the fucking problem. And what is Ethan Ralph doing while this is all going on? He's tweeting me. 
This mother, I live in his head rent free. I just have to wink at him and he will drop what he's doing and pay attention. That's the kind of power I exert over the life of Ethan Ralph as his surrogate internet father. I just got to say, hey, champ, wink, and he goes into a fucking tailspin. So all those people that paid 65 fucking dollars for this event that turned out to be a disaster, (laughs) got fucked out of their money and their time. Ralph was just far too busy talking to daddy. I'm sorry, but daddy Jim, apparently in Ethan's life, takes priority. Now, let's get into the kingpin. (coughs) Excuse me there, chat. All that ASMR made all the tar come out of my lungs. Now, when it comes to the Kingpin Invitational, it was a shit show, uh, technically. All right. Uh, The amount of disaster with the audio feed, video feed, and the stream itself was just horrendous. This was streamed for about six to seven hours, of which people were able to recover about four to five hours, of which about two hours is usable. That's because, well, I don't want to spoil it all. You'll see it as we go along and watch this. I've condensed it down into about 14 to 15 minutes. So we've got about a 14 to 15 minute chunk of what happened at this. And it is chock full of entertaining things. So let's take a look at the first inaugural. First, by the way, because he's going to do this again next year. Kingpin Killstream Invitational. I originally had a long diatribe plan where I shit on all my enemies, but I'll have to just cut that out since we... We ran a little late to start the show. It's okay. Thank you, Destiny, for coming, man. I appreciate it. What about the turnout here tonight? It's okay. <laughs> I've seen better. It's okay. Well, who's, wait, who's your most hated? Who's your most hated internet guy that hosts live events? That hosts live events? Yeah. I don't know. Most that guy gets are... twice as many as you. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, so the debate tonight is globalism versus nationalism. This is the nationalist right here. This is the globalist right here. I'm curious. Who picked this topic? I picked it, actually. You picked this topic. I picked it because InfoWars is the globalist. And globalist versus nationalist. I just thought it was ready made. Okay. What do you think about it? Well, you don't like the topic? (laughs) This fucking microphone. (laughs) I love... uh, One thing you need to understand. this This is the whole night. So Destiny is holding microphones which are duct taped together. That's the technical expertise we're talking about here duct taped together microphones sitting at a table in front of a bowling alley bar where the audio levels are fucked up there's one stationary camera if it gets knocked into it's going to knock it on the floor and destiny right from the bat from the very beginning of this thing starts shit talking ethan ralph now it's alleged that ralph lied to destiny there are screenshots floating out there of uh, destiny in chat saying fuck ralph that he lied to him and told him that he was going to be debating nick fuentes instead of some guy from InfoWars, and that they were going to discuss something else entirely. And then he gets there to this half-assed fucking event with duct tape microphones and a drunk rage pig. And you could just look at his face. He knows he's entered the fucking Twilight Zone. Now, I'm not going to say Destiny is world famous or he's a big shot, but he has large streams and a large following. And this is a big step down for Destiny. And I know in the back of his head, he's thinking, what in the fuck? am I doing at this event? Why are they two different microphones, though? Because one is... Rhodes, what? Please shut the fuck up out in the audience. There's a no, it's not here. awkward in person. It's just the most boring fucking topic in the world, but we'll do it. We'll engage. Okay, no, no, I want to go. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. No, no, I want to do this no, one. No, no. I want to do this one. Okay. No, it's not yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just... You know, I heard you bitching about it on no, the no, no. stream. It's oh, it's good. so boring. It's no. going to be so boring. I'm oh, and why didn't you change it then? You brought me okay, here to well, fucking... You know what? Why didn't you say that to me? Like, what the fuck? You're on your show crying about because it. Like I don't know where you are half the fucking time. I got to check Kiwi Farms to see what the fuck is going on in your life. I don't know what the fuck you're at I love it. Do you see Ralph? This is, uh, again, this is clipped from the entire stream, but this is like the first 10 minutes. Already Destiny is calling out our little rage pig. (laughs) He's already mocking how shitty and low budget this is. And then he's saying he has to read Ralph's Kiwi Farms thread because it's better at keeping track of where his drunk hillbilly ass is than Ralph is when it comes to doing business. If you enter a business agreement with Ethan Ralph, you have a better chance of being kept updated on it by reading Kiwi Farms than by talking to Ralph himself. Just ask any motherfucker that subscribed to Secure Server TV. Remember that? Remember when Ralph had his own uh, subscription website service where he charged people for year-long memberships and then it disappeared and he promised he'd bring it back and it's been 
uh, 14 months since anybody's seen from it. So that's what Destiny's talking about here. You just send me an email, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, goddamn. It's an exciting thing. Is there something more exciting going on? No, we had to throw, <laughs> we had to throw some bitch out earlier. Okay, I want to respond to that, but first, Ralph, what do you think about that? I'm the moderator. I don't have any thoughts. <laughs> well, you never have any thoughts. doesn't have to do with being a moderator. Uh, but I do love the fact that it's it just... He's so, uh, Destiny's already picked up on the fact that Ralph wants to not be there. I imagine you've been told you're hosting a debate, or you're, you're putting a debate on. You're going to be on stage debating something. And the guy that put it together is browsing his fucking phone right in front of you. You think it's a shitty, boring debate, and you were lied to about who's going to be there. And you finally show up because you kept your word. And the asshole running the fucking show is browsing Twitter and Kiwi Farms rather than you know, keeping the debate going. So Destiny throws a, what do you think of that, Ralph? Because he knows Rage Pig isn't hearing a thing. He's not paying attention to anything at all. He's he's in his own little world. Where is it? Like, wh where is this thing? Great reset? Yeah, where is it happening? Because I always hear about all these, a more, yeah. Look at this motherfucker. He's in the middle of a debate with people he invited who paid out of pocket to show up, taking selfies of himself. He doesn't even look at this shit. He doesn't give a fuck. I'm going to rewind that a, bit, a little bit. This is how disrespectful Ethan Ralph is when it comes to hosting a fucking event. Like, wh where is this thing? Great reset? Yeah, where is it happening? Because I always hear about all these... A more, yeah. Just doesn't give a shit. Just like at the Blaze TV with that selfie stick. Ethan Ralph has turned into a teenage girl. <laughs> the disrespect is amazing. It's absolutely fucking amazing. Could you, I would be so mad if I was Destiny. If I went to Texas for this shit show, and this fat retard was on his goddamn phone the whole time taking selfies, I would have lost That's it. That's the thing. It, them, you actually have a conversation with them. They never had a conversation with the truckers. That's not how, so what you're describing is not, is undemocratic. That's not democracy. You don't let, uh, God damn it, Ralph. I was telling him to turn it up so they could hear you. It's, it's protest. Okay. Protest, protest is not undemocratic. Well, I told the crowd to shut the fuck up, but they won't shut the fuck up. So what do you want me to do, Jagged? Do you, Jack, do no, we, you, I think we, do, I think I might have died. No, I didn't know my mic got turned off. No, your mic did kind of turn off, didn't no, that's it? that's fine. That was the globalist. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> they're here. They're here. <laughs> Can we get, <laughs> cutting we us off in real time. give your mic. No, nah, the, tra the trannies did it. Okay. Now look, Trannies. bring me that mic, because he has to have a house mic. Give it up. Don't knock the camera out, please. It's just a fucking disaster. $65, folks. You're paying $65 to sit. Look at Destiny's face. This is a perfect pause screen. He's just looking off into nothingness. That's the face somebody gets when just life has imploded on them, and they're at their wit's end. He's, he's looking off into the void itself, thinking, what in the fuck is going on right now? Sounds fucked up. Mics don't work. Ralph begging people not to walk anywhere near the one camera because it might not function if they do. <laughs> Debating something you have no interest in? Please, God. All right, talk. <laughs> what do you want me to talk about? Talk to right. what the fuck? Trans, trans people? Yeah. What do you want me to say? Yeah. What's wrong with None of these life? work. None of these work, Ralph. None of these microphones work, Rage Pig. What are you doing? Are you hollering at me? None of these work. This is a this is almost like a how-to video on how not to do something. Like if you were to show this to somebody, it's like one of those uh, uh, you know uh, public service announcement videos from like the '90s. And this is like a Sam Hyde skit come to life. Like Frank Hassel should jump from the ceiling right about now and just tell everybody it's been a big goof. And Ralph, look at you could see the rage building on him. Look at his face. Look how fucking angry he looks. Everything is just going to shit. InfoWars guy is just downing his eighth drink. Destiny's regretting every decision in his life. <laughs> Ralph looks like he just wants to crawl out of his fucking picky skin. <laughs> I'm both snot out my nose. I love that, by the way. <laughs> I'm both snot out my nose. Oh, nothing says professional debate like, oh, sorry guys, I gotta blow snot out of my nose and then doing it in front of everybody. The funniest part of that is, later on he gives those microphones to Destiny. 
So after he gets his hog juices all over him, he hands it to Destiny. Um, let me. Uh, I don't know <laughs> which one. This is a transgender conversation. I don't know. Get the fuck out of the stage where you get thrown out of here. Hey, throw this guy out. Throw him out. Throw him out. Throw him out. Motherfucker. The fuck. Does anybody know where the bathroom is? I love it. Uh, this, that's how bored people are. That's just, I don't think that guy was, that's not a troll. That dude's not there for this fucking event. It's just a dude from the bar. He's like, hey, I'm just interrupting because this is obviously not important. You're on your phone all the time and nothing works. Um, and I got to take, I got to take a tinkle. Uh, do you know where the bathroom is? And then Ralph starts squealing at him. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Which one? This is a transgender conversation. I don't know. Get the fuck out of the stage where you get thrown out of here. Hey, throw this guy out. Throw him out. Throw him out. Throw him out. Motherfucker. The fuck? What is this guy? Did he just walk up and ask where the bathroom was in the middle of the bay? <laughs> the fuck? What do you got planned for tonight? What are you doing tonight? What's going on here? We got stand-ups after this. Alex Stein's coming out here. Pat Dixon. We're going to do the bowling tournament. We're going to have a yeah. panel at the end. Oh, by the way, spoiler alerts, uh, that panel never happened. It's another unfulfilled promise. So if you signed up and paid money to come to this thing, not only did you not get a wedding, which you were promised, you also didn't get a panel. And why didn't you get a panel? Well, Destiny ran from the building after this debate. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Destiny left immediately after this. And then after that, Dick Masterson mysteriously broke uh, both his elbows in uh, a complicated accident and had to leave immediately. So that's like half the debate panel left him, but like two hours into the fucking event. And that that's that leaves who? Mersh? And I think Mersh was so drunk and fat at that point uh, that he probably would have been nonsensical. So no debate happened. No, no wedding. No wedding. <laughs> no debate. Just tears. Just here's at the Kingpin invitation. Me and RTC and Dick, we're just gonna talk shit. Get over here and ask some fucking questions! What the fuck? Alan, whatever. It, it, by every economic method, you can see the impact of Russia. Okay, I'm looking at Russia, and Russia just lost a war to Ukraine. Okay? That's <laughs> what? Well, hold on. And number one, Russia. Russia, 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 I love the fact that he can't even say that without them spazzing out on him. <laughs> hey, hey, my name's Destiny, and I want to tell this crowd Russia's not doing so great. And they all start chanting Russia at him. Oh, I better be careful. The ghost of Kiev's going to do a flyby there. Going to do a flyby right on by. Really happy to be here. Congratulations, Ralph. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Glad you're here. Uh oh, this one's this one's charming. Now, again, just to kind of give you an idea, at certain points during the video, uh, Ralph just disappears. At other points, the video freezes. At some points, it's only audio. Uh, so it's hard to get everything on camera, but we've got audio, so you'll be able to hear this little confrontation. Uh, so uh, it's just a quick question for you, Ralph. Uh, when I came in, the uh, the bouncer told me that a bunch of coleslaw was being delivered. I heard that, yeah. I was just curious what he Where said. You got some. Coleslaw? I don't know what that means. He said you got some diapers and something delivered. I was just curious what you did with it. I don't know. Why are you curious about it? It's just a weird thing. Well, why are you asking about it? Well, he told me you threw him away or something. I just threw him over there. Why where, do you care about though? You seem to have a. Well, no, I've got kids. Oh, I don't care. Oh, Get the fuck it. Take them. Oh, yeah. I just need some diapers. Yeah. Are, these, are the diapers in here? I don't know. You want coleslaw? I don't need. I don't need any coleslaw. I don't know. Eat it. Eat it. Do you want some? You want to share it with me? Do you want some? You want to share? There you go. Do you want some? Not really. Okay. I Give the mic up to somebody else. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's funny, bitch? Move on. Move on. Fuck ass, bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Okay. Take that shit out of here. Oh, he's so tough. Our rage pig is so tough. Listen to him talk to a security. Take him away. Get that man out of this facility. Get him. This is a kill. This is a professional event. Make him go away. 
That's, by the way, like the third or fourth person Ralph has thrown out. He told Destiny earlier, oh, that's a bitch I had to throw out. So that's one. The guy that asked for the bathroom, that's two. Now we got a guy talking about coleslaw and diapers. And Ralph's throw out, that's three. And I, I'm fairly certain, oh, yeah, Tux. Uh, earlier, Flamenco had sent a deep cover agent to the event before it even started. And Tux was filming. So there are like 60 people in attendance at this thing. Well, let's say 50, not including um, all the people that got free tickets that were given away or the uh, quote-unquote guests of the event. So already we've got four or five people that have been thrown out. 10% of the audience was there to troll Ethan Ralph. Think about that. 10% of his entire audience showed up just to fuck with him. Uh, thank you. Th hey, hey, throw him out. Okay. We had to send another motherfucker home tonight, Destiny. That, it's okay, brother. Is that only two? Shake uh, Harris's hand. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to shake his hand. Oh my God. Why are you always trying to make me look bad? Look at your face, boy. You, Destiny, I want to ask you a question, big boy. Yeah, I don't think I want him asking me a question. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Right, what do you got? Oh, damn I'm not it. I'm asking okay. you a question. <laughs> I'm asking. No, you're not asking me shit. Ask your you a question, <laughs> big boy. Do you care about the negative effects of immigration? Love you. Hey, give me that mic. Give me the, give me, give me your hand. You're going to be in the place to be. Give me that. Let's fucking go! So that was the debate. I saved you uh, two and a half hours, chat. Say thank you, Jim. Uh, in chat, can you all say thank you, Farmer Jim? Because <laughs> I cut down. I cut this shit down from two and a half hours of just horrendous uh, fucking technical difficulties uh, down, to, down to a respectable five minutes. Uh, to give you the highlights, which is just people trolling them and Destiny literally talking shit while looking directly at him. That's how much disrespect his own guests had for him. I don't blame Destiny one bit. <laughs> I'd have been pissed too. So that's the opening to the Killstream Kingpin Invitational. But of course, if you remember that tweet from earlier, let me see if I can find the right one here. Hold on one second, chat. I know that was me uh, starting COVID, of course. Oh, here we are. Uh, cops threw no one out. They investigated bomb threats from your fans. Now, Ethan Ralph is blaming me for calling in bomb threats to his event. And by the way, there was a bomb threat. And the police did show up. Let's uh, take a look at some of that footage. Yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, we're, we're going to start this here in a minute. Second part of the show. There was a bomb threat called in. The police are about to do a walkthrough. It's all good. It's all good. We knew this would happen. We knew this would happen. But See, now, I think what happened was nobody called in and said there were pipe bombs there. People called in and said there were pig bombs. Is it a big, exploding pile of pig rage? They were just trying to warn the local law enforcement that Ethan Ralph was in the vicinity. And the police, of course, didn't really hear it properly, so they sent the bomb squad. One thing leads to another. Uh, there's a bomb threat, so they're going to do a little walkthrough. Apparently there's 50 cops outside. We've been swatted tonight. Apparently. I haven't gone outside, but that's what I've heard. Mm. That's apparently real, yeah. So that's another interesting point. So you heard the guy. That was the DJ, part of the security staff, saying there were 50 cops outside. Now, if you go back to Ethan when he started screaming like a banshee, uh, let's see. Uh, he initially got mad at me saying I was lying uh, about what was being said because I had said Flamenco had said on stream that there were a bunch of cops and people were getting kicked out. And he said, ah, ah, you a-hogs, you always, you always suing at me, making me angry and all that shit. Uh, well, apparently it's not Flamenco just saying it. It was the people at the venue saying there were 50 fucking police officers. Uh, Jesse P.S. on his Twitter had photos of it from the outside. Andy Worski and others were posting on Twitter. There were a lot of cops. There, there are photos from the inside of cops showing up and sweeping the facility. And then you had people running for the hills like Dick Masterson after his elbows exploded. <laughs> uh, but by this point in the evening now, our little rage pig is awfully mad. And he's got a message to all them A-hog haters out there. Jim, hey, shout out to Jim. He's at home dying of cancer. Uh, he would rather spread lies about this event rather than tell the truth. 
the cops did come through. They didn't throw anybody out. I shook every single hand. Shout out to Carly's Finest here. Very good. Shout out to Jade. She cooked up a, cooked up a good dinner of Labrador tonight at the Medicare household. So I want to thank her. Shout out to Ivy Clover and all the sex she used to send him. I appreciate that. I wonder if he's going to leak her nudes. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, anyway, it's tough. Oh, boy. Shots fired, chat. Oh. oh, God, I think this is the end, chat. Is this the end? I think I'm done, guys. Ethan Ralph is a hollering. He's a hollering now. There are nudes out there, apparently. Oh, God. I think I might be done, chat. This might be forever over for me. I love how Ralph, you know, even after his experience on the last stream we did, where he got drunk and cried on his stream, begging for my fucking attention, and I finally went on live stream with him, and he sat there like a sad alcoholic, treating me like his surrogate father. <laughs> Even during that entire experience where he lied through his teeth about uh, like a hundred things and got caught for it. He's back to it again. Now, I, uh, I hope he does it like a response stream. <laughs> so I can see all these hot nudes that have been sent to Ivy Clover. <laughs> oh, Ralph is mad at this point. Apparently, I'm responsible for the bomb threat. Uh, you could see he, I don't know why he thinks that, but I guess that's what he thinks. <laughs> I'm the master A-log, the top A-hog in charge, Piggy Supreme, sitting out there oinking at him from the darkness, in the void, in the black, just snorting away. He hears my, he hears my sueys in his sleep, and it drives him absolutely insane. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like that Edgar Allan Poe short story about the heart under the floorboards, that's Ethan Ralph, but it's my voice in his head. Here is peace. That's what he hears. Day and night, night and day. Daddy Jim haunts him. <laughs> oh, Supreme A-Hog. That's, that's my new title. That's what I'm going with. But uh, it's not just, I'm not the only one, by the way, that he's furious at. He's also angry at Flamenco and Gator for no reason. Gator's once again brought into it. Anyway, I wish, I wish you the best, Mr. Medicare. Shout out to you. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, Chaga, go ahead. All right. Hey, man, can you get the fuck away from the camera? Because you knocked the camera. Hey, hey, don't stand anywhere over here. Hey, throw it. No. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Throw this faggot out. Get him out of here right fucking now. Get out, bitch. Fuck you, raping Ralph. Fuck you, bitch. Get out of here, motherfucker. Did you hear? Uh, by the way, Ralph got into a fight. Shocking, I know. <laughs> it's not just Portugal, chat, where Ethan Ralph gets into fights. He had a fist fight at his own event. But did you hear what that guy called him? If you listen a few times, might be a little subtle. He calls him Rape It Ralph. <laughs> he calls him fucking Rape It Ralph. I'm going tonight. Hey, man, can you get the fuck away from the camera? Because you knocked the camera. Hey, hey, don't stand anywhere over here. Hey, throw it. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Fuck it. Throw this faggot out. Get him out of here right fucking now. Get out, bitch. Fuck you, rape it, Ralph. Fuck you, bitch. Get out of here, motherfucker. Get out before you get hurt. Fuck you, rape it, Ralph. Fuck you. Arrest him. Arrest him. Fuck you. Get out before you get hurt. Fuck you, rape it, Ralph. Yo, this guy's on the ground right now. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Now, remember, Ralph likes to tell everybody what a tough guy he is. He's the top in the sector. He fought off four Portuguese, uh, uh, Portuguese uh, 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 muggers uh, in fisticuffs in the streets of, uh, streets of Lisbon. Remember that. He's afraid of nobody from the top on down. Yet the second somebody steps up to him, he's screaming like a fucking 30-year-old white woman. That's been scared at the park. Arrest him! Arrest him! Have somebody arrest him! Somebody quickly arrest him! Make it stop! Stop him right now! Arrest him! Fuck you, bitch! Oh, this guy's on the ground right now. He's banging. I'm going for it. He's banging. I was about to shit on his face. Uh, just remember, too, what that guy on the mic is saying. This guy is on the ground right now, and he's begging. 
he's begging. Because remember, I told you that Ralph is on a stayed sentence, meaning any trouble he gets into, he might go back to prison for an entire year. <laughs> so that fight footage you saw, the second angle, was from Chagat, who was at this event. Chagat had a minute worth of footage, but he only uploaded 15 seconds. Now, why is that? Well, let's hear what Chagat had to say. Guess what, bitch? I don't scare. Guess what, bitch? I don't scare. Guess what, bitch? I don't scare. And that motherfucker just got his ass whooped right around the corner. Fuck. That guy just got his ass whooped right around the corner. After the DJ said he's begging. And here's Ralph, of course, doing a peacock flaunt. Because he's such a, he's the biggest in the sector. The biggest in the sector. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, Jim. Fuck you, fag Miko. Fuck all you motherfuckers. Yeah, we got your I don't fucking scare, bitch. Hey, how's Gator doing? Oh, how is Gator doing? <laughs> Sitting home jacking into anime. Fuck all you faggots. <laughs> Look at this guy. Have you ever seen somebody so desperate to appear tough, but they just can't pull it off? He's like trying to peacock to the camera, screeching in his little obese warble. He makes a warble sound. That's what happens when you've got a giant triple quadruple chin and the sound uh, refracts inside your mouth. So he's a warbling and a rage piggin. Talking about how he's the toughest motherfucker in the sector. After you heard him literally screech like a white woman at the park. I ran step. <laughs> you have to fucking kill me to drag me out of this fucking alley. You understand? Yeah. You better fucking kill me, bitch. The absolute levels of delusion. Uh, let, chat, let's, let's, have a, let's have a moment, everybody. Let's sit down and have some real talk, chat. Chat, this guy, he does streams on the internet, okay? At the end of the day, that's all any of us are doing. We stream on the internet. Some of us laugh at idiots, some talk politics, some do video games. Ethan Ralph is acting like he's doing the last stand at the hot gates. All right, like this is Thermopylae. Like he's part of the Spartans defending against the Persians. You're going to have to kill me to drag me out of here. Nobody cares, Ralph. Nobody cares enough about you to do that. You are so fucking delusional. You were so over-the-top delusional. It's ridiculous. Now, I don't know if that's the uh, the Zanny Berries, Ralph. Can I, can I pull the Zanny Berries back up? Will that fuck my video up? Let's see what happens if I pull the Zanny Berries up. Some women are bathroom. I'm coming. Bathroom. I'm coming. I'll be oh, no. Sorry. That's him being a sim. moment somebody I shakes a pill bottle, like, you fall into like, a tailspin. What about oh. that you did that for like six <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Well, thank you. It's not true. There we go. It's not so there we go. Maybe it's the Zanny Berries. Maybe it's the alcoholism. Maybe it's the brain damage. I'm not sure. But this dude is, is talking about the last stand at the bowling alley. How <laughs> trailer park do you get? That's your hot gates. The bowling alley, Ralph. You're doing a last stand at the bowling alley. You, you have lost your fucking mind, Ralph. Yo, I got the best angle of that fight, and I'm posting it, the video, on my Telegram. Do it! Right now, okay, right now. do it! Did you really? Yeah, I got a fantastic angle of You're it. You're lying! No, I did. You want to see it? Yeah! Yeah, let's, let's see that shit. Okay. I want you to watch how nervous Ralph gets, because the camera he has set up is stationary. It's not moving anywhere, okay? But here's Chagat trying to become famous on his Instagram or whatever the fuck it is, Telegram, I don't know. And he filmed an entire minute of this. And the moment he says, I've got the whole thing on footage, Ralph suddenly enters shit bricks mode. Just listen to his voice and the nervousness and watch his mannerisms. Okay. Play it then. Hey, I have to... You were recording it? Yeah. <laughs> Look. He looks so guilty. You were recording it? <laughs> he looks like the kid that got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Look at that face. That's the oh shit moment. And Chagat's so dumb, he can't pick up on that. So now Chagat wants to show it to the camera on live stream. Of course it was live on stream anyway, but... <laughs> wow. Here we go, here we go. And here comes the weak punch. Oh, let me see it. Wait, let me see it. I want to see it. 
Wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me. Yeah, wait a minute. Don't, don't show it on stream. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me help. Uh, let, me, let me take a look. Dude, it was literally so weak. Oh, dude, you had your camera out. Holy shit. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, dude, man. it was nothing. <laughs> dude, holy shit. That was I, got him, I got you stomping him and skin shit. No, I didn't know. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. The, the, the security guard. Okay, that is the money shot right now. So the DJ says the guy's begging for his shit. Ralph is saying the guy got stomped out around the corner. And now Chegg is saying, I got you on film stomping the guy out. And watch Ralph. Watch Ralph's reaction. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, dude, man. it was nothing. <laughs> dude, holy shit. That was I, got him, I got you stomping him and skin shit. No, I didn't know. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I didn't know. No, no. He looks so fucking nervous. Uh, and again, just so you know what happens, because I had to edit this to cut it down for everybody to enjoy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ding, ding, ding. Money horn going on. We've got another big super chat. Wanna, wanna, wanna get to that right away from our rat again for a hundred. Whisper, you can, you can fall asleep too. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to actually stay up if you want to fall asleep. That's all right. You know. All right. Good night, Peppers. Put that one out there. But Ralph is uh, currently shitting bricks. Look at the look on his face. That is a man that is, he's he's deciding how stupid Jagged is in this moment. He's like, could this motherfucker really be so dumb? is to show everybody that I committed a crime that's going to send me to prison for a year. <laughs> that's going to put me in jail for my stayed prison sentence for revenge porn. Is he really going to do this to me on my own live stream? It's just the way he said it. You could tell that's pure fear. Pure fucking fear in his I face. Got him. I got you stomping him and skin shit. Look at him. Look at the look on his face. No, I didn't know. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, I didn't know. I love it. Oh, chef's kiss. Beautiful. The, the the security guards, I mean. The, yeah. Yeah. We have the kill stream team set. We're gonna bowl, and I'm very excited to take home that trophy here in just a little short while. Right now. Did you did you catch that chat? I'm gonna rewind that again. I want, this is how shook Ralph is. After this happened, the stream cut. No audio, no video for like 20 minutes, and I'm sure he had Chagat delete shit. But look at, watch, listen to what he says. I didn't know. Uh, oh, no, uh, I'm just kidding. The, the, the security guards, I mean. The, yeah. Yeah. Head movement, yeah. yeah. We have the kill stream team set. We're going to bowl. And I'm very excited to take home that trophy. What trophy? Ralph is so discombobulated after Chagat nearly sending him to prison by showing the world his crimes. He's pointing to nothing. There is no trophy there. I can't wait to take home that trophy. Points at nothing. <laughs> He's so fucked up. Here in just a little short while. Right now, I have the camera still here. So there is some kind of photographic evidence. I'll try to download the app. My iPhone's dead. Oh, this is the expertise, by the way, the Kingpin uh, Killstream Invitational. Uh, Ralph, this is what people watched for an hour. He set a camera up to look at the wall for an hour because he couldn't figure out how to film the bowling tournament at his bowling event. How fucking retarded do you have to be to host a bowling event and not film the bowling? That's the kind of expertise. That's the professionalism, the top of the sector. Ethan Ralph brings to the table. That I usually do my phone streaming with, so, you know, I don't know what to say, but... And of course, uh, Ralph there doing a celebratory dance. Flamenco, who was covering this shit show for seven hours as it was going on, uh, played Tetris with some people, apparently leaked his email, uh, ended up doxing himself, rip and peace, Flamenco. Uh, can we get a bottle shake for Flamenco's anonymity? <laughs> Welcome to the club, Flamenco. You can you can use my last name. You can be an Augustine, too. <laughs> we can confuse the rage pig and enrage him. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> You're going to survive. 
But Ralph, of course, uh, being dumb and drunk and just dumb, uh, walks up to his camera, starts talking, and it barely... I had to audio boost this. That's the audio boosted version. Uh, if I left the original audio, you wouldn't hear anything. He realizes this and comes back to gloat a second time. Oh, they couldn't hear me. I forgot about that. They couldn't hear me. Shout out to Flamingo, who just doxed himself on stream while he was trying to fuck with your boy. What an all-time epic on, you little fucking faggot. Wow. You doxed yourself, boy. Check out Telegram T.me slash the Ralph Retort. I'm about to post that faggot's picture. Let's fucking go. You fucked with the kingpin life and you got fucked, bitch. Wow. You fucked with the kingpin. The biggest in the sector. Literally. He's got the girth to call himself that. Oh, Flamingo, I got you, Flamingo. Oh, you're in so much trouble, Flamingo. Uh, he said he was going to post it on his Telegram. Never did, by the way. Never posted anything on his Telegram. I think he's afraid to. <laughs> I don't know why, but he decided not to uh, for some reason. But he gloats. He does a little uh, cocky strut for like 30 minutes. Again, you paid $65 to come to this event. And instead of bowling, the host of the event is screaming about internet people. Just imagine that. Imagine any other kind of entertainment venue that you would go to <laughs> where the guy hosting it is so ass mad at some fucking random dude on the internet. He's just out there screaming at the top of his lungs at him rather than hosting the event. He's got to tell everybody, Flamenco, oh, Flamenco, I'm coming to get you. When a logging gets the best of you, oh boy. Oh boy, I heard he was crying on stream. I heard he was crying on stream. Oh no. Oh no. T.me slash the Robert Tour. Check it out. Uh, just a reminder this dude just got punched in the face <laughs> at his own event. And he's trying to talk shit about Flamenco. Somebody at his event <laughs> called him Rape It Ralph and punched him in his face. <laughs> he's talking shit about other people. No. Yeah, you can walk around maybe and film some people too if you want. This is lane one here. We started off well, but it's going a little... For me, it's went a little south. Wow, look at that turnout, folks. This is the big bowling event with all four lanes open and a group of 12 people sitting there. Because by this point in the night, all the guests had run away. <laughs> Dick, Dick Masterson with his uh, serious elbow injuries... Uh, Destiny left a long time ago. I think Mersh is probably passed out in a toilet somewhere. And all that's left are 12 people bowling, half of whom I'm pretty certain are from the local homeless shelter, and were told that warm food was being served. So that leaves Ralph on his uh, Killstream team, which there are nobody, there's nobody's left. He had to have Chagat bowl with him. <laughs> there are like three other people bowling for a trophy he bought to present at this event. He's finally filming it. It's the end of the night. And uh, here's Ethan showing off some of his superb skills. The kill stream team is the goal of the trophy. What an amazing night. They are going to go down. I know it's the latest right now. Only the real motherfuckers are still here. It's a child to go. And those who didn't get injured, child to dick out as well. And everybody else, the main participants, all that shit. Thank you guys so much. Oh, is that the trophy? The trophy is literally taller than him. That trophy is like four feet tall. And it's his height. And he's wearing platform boots. I want you to take a moment, chat, to think of the ego of our, our little rage pig. That he put together an entire event, a bowling event. He bought a giant trophy the size of him. Well, not giant. It's only four feet tall. He bought a big trophy the size of him. Puts a bowling event on. Nobody else bowls. And then he gives himself the trophy. <laughs> I think Ralph has been such a loser throughout his entire life that he literally put together this entire event just so he could win a trophy for once. Just so he could know what it's like to be a winner. This is Ethan Ralph 
desperately trying to get uh, uh, you know, acknowledgement, and the only way to do it is to buy himself a trophy <laughs> in a tournament where there are no other competitors. <laughs> Well, now you have. That's you. I'll tell you. So this happened, this entire thing, and everybody's covered it. If you want to know the reason I'm doing a stream about it, it's literally because he said that. <laughs> I've never seen Jim Medeker put an event on like this. Well, let's see. I put on my stream just now. Uh, the audio and the video worked. The stream isn't cutting out all the time. People weren't charged $65 at the door. Uh, there was no wedding. I didn't make Destiny cry with the most boring topic on earth. Dick Masterson didn't have to fake an injury to get the fuck out of there. The bomb squad didn't show up. Nobody uh, punched me in my piggy face. And I didn't award myself a fucking trophy because I'm the saddest fat fuck on the internet. Hey, shout out to Fag Miko once again and got some something tonight. Feel better, buddy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Kale Stream Kingpin Invitational. Now there's a little bit of follow-up afterwards. A little bit of shenanigans that happened afterwards, as tweeted by Andy Worski. Somebody left diapers in Ralph's truck, LOL. If you remember when the Casino Casino did their Fuck Ralph Festival, actually I'll leave that up, uh, Jesse P.S. showed up at Ralph's house and gave him diapers. Apparently this has now become a thing. People, people are delivering diapers to Ralph, and I don't think that's because he has kids. I think that's because it's like a subtle jab at the fact that he literally huffs shit. I'd like to really reiterate that fact for the audience, because maybe you think I'm joking. But Ethan Ralph released a porn tape of himself, showing off his incredibly small penis. And he's digging shit out of a woman's ass. Literally putting his trotters up her shitter, and hoofing up the poop. So now he has diaper delivery showing up, and I think we have the video. Just for your own satisfaction, boys. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, someone else left diapers, too. Huh. That's funny. Yeah, somebody somebody else left diapers. Now, of course, Ralph, uh, enraged by the fact that his event was a complete disaster, uh, after screaming at me on the internet and screaming at Flamenco and Gator for whatever fucking reason, <laughs> decides that uh, Jesse P.S. should be the uh, one focused uh, on, that his ire needs to go, uh, that he's got a rage pig at. So he does a live stream after this, the very next day, after WrestleMania, with Pat Dixon, where he, uh, he has this to say. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess he went on uh, Jesse P.S.'s show earlier. Um, by the way, Jesse P.S., uh, I heard your junkie brother died, and uh, I'm glad he's dead. So um, I'm definitely glad he's dead, and I'm definitely going to go piss on his grave. So I just wanted to tell you that uh, and let you know and hope you screen cap that and go ahead and show it. Press P to piss on the grave of Jesse P.S.'s brother here in chat. We will always honor his memory. You know what? I might go looking for some pictures of this faggot because i know how you like to do jesse i know how you like to make it personal how you like to talk about you know violence against me how you like to visit my house i'm gonna start putting up a picture of your junkie brother on my fucking show you piece of fucking shit bastard we're just getting started buddy we're just getting started see you motherfuckers don't understand you will never run me out of this business you will never shame me out of the game ever I will fucking die first. And I think the viewers here know that already. Uh, but anyway, Jesse, I just wanted to shout out your brother. Uh, as soon as I find out where that grave is, uh, I'll, 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 I'll let you know. But uh... You notice he's got the giant fucking trophy in the background? <laughs> he's got the trophy with him? His ego is attached to that? He's going to go, as he said, desecrate a grave because he's very angry right now. Jesse is the uh, perpetrator. So he's got to be taught a lesson. Uh, Ralph uh, rage hogging out. I saw somebody in chat say, uh, are they giving him huggies? No, I believe the brand he uses are hoggies. <laughs> rage pig perfected hoggies diapers. When you got a hog that needs to take a real big shit, you need a pair of hoggies. Maybe that'll be a new Jimco product. <laughs> Maybe we can sell that. 
oh, how does this trash fire continue? How does Ralph continually walk into one disaster after another? At what point does he not sit down and say, holy shit, my life is fucked up. What a, what a joke I've made of my goddamn life. I've been beaten in Portugal, embarrassed by everybody I've gotten into a fight with, held a disaster of a live stream, have everything imploded, have my entire sex life just thrown on the internet from my own doing. Because all the women that I hit on eventually just talk about it, release my own revenge porn <laughs> that shows everybody how small my dick is and that I like to literally eat the poo-poo, have people in DMs show what a simp I am, have people in DMs show what a beta I am. Just, just sad. Just sad. At, at some point, you need a little introspection. Uh, there, Ralph. Oh, well, we got another $50 donation coming. Let me let me read that one real quick from Jacob Steele. Remember to thank Nolan Cancelous Jim for starting the Dimensional Merge. And we will get to the rest of the Super Chats uh, probably momentarily here. Ralph, I look forward to you continually imploding. It seems like anybody can poke you, and you literally fall to pieces at this point. Andy Worski got you to fly to another country and get beaten for your purse. Flamenco and Jesse made you uh, have a spaz attack during your entire live stream. Instead of taking care of your guests who paid money to be there, you yelled at me on the internet. Now you're going to go desecrate graves? That's a good luck. <laughs> I'm sure you two are going to have fun, you and Jesse, going back and forth on that. Uh, what could go wrong? I don't know what you're going to do next. It's like, how do, how do we know what's going to happen next? I was only going to do end-of-the-month recaps. You're the chud, right? But it's just, you're such a fucking trash fire. You're such a fucking living trash fire. How? And the crazy thing, chat, I haven't even touched the surface of Ethan Ralph. All of this is really just related to this event. Uh, you could say I pulled my punches. I haven't even been mean yet about Ralph. That's how much shit's out there. It's a treasure trove, a little piggy treasure trove of Ethan Ralph shit. And uh, it's just, it's amazing. It just doesn't ever end. I don't know what he's going to do next. What is he going to do next? I mean, people aren't watching his fans at this point. They're just a bunch of A-hogs. All the A-hogs out there making fun of me. Ah, oh, you got to kill me. I'm best in the sector. I ain't ever going to see a show like this. What a living disaster. What have you done? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, God damn, man. Jesus, take the wheel and drive. Oh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, I could have gone more serious, chat. I talked about the fact that this man hides behind Jesus Christ for his grift. Constantly talking about Christ as king and God's plan as he lives the most degenerate lifestyle possible. Talking about having morals and preaching to his audience with another group of people that do the same thing, and I'll live fucked up lives. What did Jesus get mad at again, Ralph? What was the one instance in the Bible where Jesus flipped a fucking table over? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's when people tried grifting off his name. That's when he got fucking pissed off. But there you'll do it, shoving your thumb up hookers' asses, telling everybody Christ is king thinking nobody can see what a completely delusional idiot you are. <laughs> oh, Ralph, please. Shameful. Just shame. Embarrassing. Shameful and embarrassing. And you know what a good way to hide that shame is? Going on down to the merch store and picking up one of those Rage Pig COVID masks. <laughs> Swinging to get a matching purse while you're there and hide your shame. Tell everybody you know that you're about to holla with that beautiful new sweatshirt or t-shirt. Pick up a mug or a shot glass while you're there, or get a Gutenfreud shirt, explaining to people what a giant, angry animal Ethan Ralph is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed the inaugural Jimco Gunterball extravaganza. Uh, from what I understand, people had said earlier before I started the stream that Jesse P.S., uh, I think he's doing a live stream now, or he might have done it earlier, uh, but should have secret inside footage of what happened at the event. He had some inside men, just like Flamenco did. So many inside men. 10% of the audience there just to laugh at the Rage Pig. Great show. But I believe that's over on Jesse's channel. So I'll be sure to check that out if you get a chance to. 
<laughs> oh, what a disaster. Did you enjoy it, chat? Did you have fun? Was this an entertaining evening for you? I know there was not enough bowling for everybody, but I tried to put on a good show. I'm just a humble farmer. Uh, let's let's do a final poll. Let's do a final poll before we get to Super Chats. What should our final poll be, chat? I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, there's so many questions we could ask. So many secrets of the universe that we could unlock with a chat poll. In regards to the Rage Pig. Uh, how about funniest piggy moment? There we go. Oh, the first option will be thumbs up. You'll have to use your imagination for what that means. Uh, bowling disaster will be another one. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> the purse snatching. <laughs> That'll be another one. I probably spelled that wrong, but whatever. Uh, 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 purses in Portugal. How about that? And then, okay, so thumbs up, bowling disaster, purses in Portugal. Uh, what what other piggy moments do we have that we can talk about? What other dumb things he's got? There's so many fucking stupid things he's done. You know, we'll leave it for these three. Too many options is just sometimes too much. Chat, we're going to let you decide for the final moment here. Funniest piggy moments, thumbs up, bowling disaster, or purses in Portugal. Oh, I see why it's saying that. And ask community. Oh, you're right. I should have put hot mic on there. I didn't do it. But you know what? That's fine. We'd be here all night if I tried to lift stuff, uh, every single one. Now, I know there are about 11,000, 12,000 people watching. We'll take a moment, let everybody get their vote in. We'll close it out with the poll, and then I'll go into Super Chats. And we'll have a, we'll call it an evening there. <laughs> That's right, chat. A gunter ball. Do I look five foot one to you? Do I look five foot one to you, bitch? Now you look about four feet tall, champ. I'd say about four feet tall. Outside of your platform left shoes that you wear as a cope. No voting's coming in. We've got 3,000 votes so far. Again, poll will be open for a little while. Take your time, chat. Really, uh, people seem to already really love Portugal as the, uh, uh, the top story of Ethan Ralph's stupidity. But we've got, we've got a few minutes to go here. In fact, while that, while that poll is going, let me go grab another drink. I'll put up a little poll music. Hey, now. Put up a little poll music. And uh, when we get back, we'll do Super Chats. Oh, let me fix that. So that's coming through. Take your time voting. We'll come back and do Super Chats. Okay, chat. Oh, boy. Well, I hope you've had a good evening. I hope everybody had an enjoyable time at our a bowling extravaganza, our Gunter Ball extravaganza. But now is Super Chat time. For everybody that came out and doesn't want to stick around, I hope you had a great time. Remember... If life's getting you down, just think to yourself, at least I'm not Ethan Ralph. And you should have a smile on your face. Nothing should make you feel happier than the knowledge that you are not <laughs> Ethan fucking Ralph. That things could be so much worse. Now let me pull up these super chats and we'll start reading through them. Have a little bit of fun with that. Just give me one moment here, chat. Got to scroll down a bit. Got a lot of super chats. A lot of rage pig comments. I believe I've made 582 times the amount of money Ralph made on his event. <laughs> Going bankrupt, renting out a bowling alley. To have 12 people show up, half of whom were just trolling him. Oh, so much easier just sitting at home and laughing at stupid people, isn't it, Ralph? It's not very, it's not very nice, Jim. Now, our poll has ended. So, let's read. With uh, 6,500 votes as the finale. Funniest piggy moment. Last place, thumbs up with 18%. Second place, second to last. Bowling disaster at 25%. The winner of our poll. The winner. The top uh, enchilada. Purses in Portugal. Purses in Portugal winning with well over 50%. Congratulations, everybody that voted for Porsches, uh, purses in Portugal. I'm sorry, 56%. <laughs> Round of applause. Round of applause. So let's jump into these. 
as my voice goes to shut from doing all those piggy noises. From Argolith, is there a GoFundMe for Masterson's mounting hospital bills? He gets injured about as much as LeBron James. I'm not sure. Poor dick out there. He's like the bubble boy. Every time he's around Ethan Ralph, some mysterious injury comes up. I'm not sure. Thoughts and prayers. Can we get a thoughts and prayers to chat for Dick Masterson and his never-ending injuries anytime he's around Ethan Ralph? Which I'm sure are all very coincidental and not Dick running for the hills because it's a fucking embarrassment that every time he hangs out with Ethan Ralph, some disaster befalls anything he's attached to. From Blepe the Wise, I'm always doing something when you're streaming, but I'll watch the VOD when I'm not busy. Have some Leaf Bucks, Jim. Casey's, or Castle's Keep, a sweetie squat. From Mother Freya, my boyfriend doesn't like you because of your take on Pathetic Losers sped dating, so I asked him to buy me a hat for our anniversary. You need to show him the simp text from Ethan Ralph uh, to Alice, okay? Uh, he should be buying you more than a hat. I mean, Ethan wasn't even in a relationship, and he was spending thousands of dollars on a woman. So your boyfriend needs to step it up. It's time to get some, put some, put a ring on it. Get some jewelry. Get that shit. From Conrad Sutherland, we must sacrifice the gun for the sake of the corn and the kiwis. Dark cells rise up. Then we have the earlier ones from Kata Evil Bunny. And from Arret, no Pepanzos Papantes. From Richard Pierce, tickets to the bowling event. Were, oh, we read that one. From Guy Burns, a hollering. Smegmov Bergman donating Ralph's height. He donated five dollars and one cents. I'll have to refund you at least two dollars, uh, Bergman. <laughs> From Alien Fuck, do you think Dylan Tom uh, Thomas makes trips to Billy Crystal's meth house? I think he just cries because his internet career died. From Outer Haven, NYC, get uh, just because get well, cancer man. Well, thank you, Medicare Fanbot. The harvest has indeed been plentiful, and the chud-based economy is booming. Bully the week. From Christopher Beller, is there a prequel or a sequel to Alice in Gunterland? Now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's a prequel or a sequel to it. But we're living the moment now. Will Andy and PPP have more Alice-related things to talk about? I don't know. Will Alice come out with more information? I don't know. But as it is right now, uh, the Simtex are definitely out there. From Adox, I will be your dirty pay pig. Oink me good, Jim. Drew McTeague, enjoy 20, Jim. Stop Moss B. It's no longer the Rage Pig. It's the Grape Pig from Garbage Gamer 9000. Ethan blocked me on Twitter for replying to a post about his stream with a picture of a defeated destiny because he knows mistakes were made. Yeah, Ralph did not take it well when people started laughing about how shitty his event was and how everything imploded on him. Uh, he doesn't take criticism too well. What a fucking shock. A Rage Pig, a holler and hog, doesn't really handle criticism well. From Medicare Fembot, too bad Gunty can... Er, can't bot his bowling alley like he bots his streams. We've had more than 60 people, lol. From Zirian, thanks for the streams, Jim. Get well soon. From our rat, sleep tight, Peppers. Google e tarted. Do you think now that Dax is an a or do you think now that Dax is an a log? Josh saying it's time to sacrifice uh, Ralph to the core and is fresh in his mind with regret. Oh, I don't know. Chat, has Dax come over to the evil side? Is he on the dark a hog side, chat? Is Dick Masterson secretly one of the A-Hogs? Maybe Dick Masterson is behind it all. Maybe he is actually the A-Hog Supreme. And I'm just amateur hour compared to him. I don't know. It's a, it's a, a good speculation. We'll never know, really. Great Red Dragon. At least I don't owe 1500 a month in child support and back pay like Rage Pig. Mr. Vickers wins again. Felted. From Joshua Ewing. How many times have people given you the You're the Chosen One speech? Oh, far too many. Far too many people want a surrogate father on the internet, which is, I guess, fine. It's a parasocial relationship. But there are certain men out there, grown men, uh, that take it way too far. I'm not sure why I'm a surrogate daddy to Ethan, but apparently I am. From Cartographer, hey Jim, would you ever consider going on Who Are These Podcasts? I genuinely feel like you'd have a good time shitting on bad shows with them. Love ya. Uh, sure. I, I've been going on other people's podcasts and live streams for the last uh, month or so now. Uh, so just head me up. Uh, hello, this is uh, Chief Sui. It's hollering time from ZT Maz. For Ralph, can we get a Sui? Piggy, 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 piggy. Everybody seems to like that quite a bit. TCG Darren, 
I'm a fixin' to holler. From Scott Ryan for Medicare Gun Stop, let's go. From Michael, at what point do you think the Rage Pig will burn his bridge with Dick Masterson? It's inevitable at this point, given Hogboy's track record. Well, you do bring up a good point. Ethan will destroy everything and anything related to his life. He is a walking, living uh, hurricane of pig shit and disaster. Now, what will it take for him to uh, disavow Dick Masterson? I have no idea. Uh, Remember, he got angry at me for laughing about the Portugal thing. And I'm sure he probably didn't like this stream either. Uh, What will it take for Dick? I don't know. A tweet one day that he shouldn't have said. Uh, Maybe a snub. He doesn't go to one of these disastrous live events when he's asked for the 800th time. Uh, Maybe it's a trip to Vegas and Dick's like, Jesus, man. Stop gambling so much. (laughs) You're making me feel bad. Only time will tell, really. I mean, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a soothsayer. I couldn't tell you. From Brosa, 42, two in less than one week. What do we do to deserve this? Hope all is uh, going well. Uh, Everything's going great. From JMF, be real with us, Jim. Who is the smallest member? Jack Murphy or the West Memphis Micro Ralph? If I had to compare penis sizes, and it's a strange world we live in, where I know the penis size of so many men I've never met in person, I would say Jack is still smaller, but not by much. From Epic Yoshi, lots to cover, maybe two to four streams. Uh, there is a lot to cover. From Polyfrog64, hey Jim, do you think you'll do another blood sports revival with Ralph and Monday and Matt as host, or do you think he's too scared? I think um, Ralph will never show up again uh, on a uh, Monday and Matt stream. Remember, Monday and Matt made him run away in terror, and he can never get over that shame. The video is up on the internet. After I did two hours of psychological counseling with my surrogate son, uh, Monday and Matt drove him away like you'd shoo a dog out of your dumpster. You know, he's, he's there for scraps. Shoot, go away, boy. I don't think he'll ever show up again. Would I do another blood sports? I don't know if you'd call Ralph drunkenly crying to himself blood sports. But I'd do another stream with him. If he had the balls to show up on Monday and Matt's channel. But we know he doesn't. Because he's a little bitch. I want you to clip that. I want you to clip that so Ralph knows he's a little bitch. And he's too scared to show up on Monday and Matt's side of the internet. Like the little bitch that he is. <laughs> oh. uh, from good old uh, Robbie, Piggy Wanna Eat, Gordon Freeman, who's Ivy Clover and wife is, or why is Ralph being schizo over them with you? I believe Ivy Clover was somebody from Gamergate. Which again is like... I don't know what is this uh, internet shit with me being people's fathers and and nobody being able to stop talking about Gamergate. Maybe Leo Pirate was right. Maybe it's the 9-11 of the internet and we can all never forget. (laughs) I don't know. From Lokwan25, bought your hat. Hope no one calls me a nutsy for you. Uh, Have a tip so you battle that cancer out loving the gut is the biggest slight he could take from you. Do it. From 4chanimal. Confirm Superberries cure cancer. Too bad they can't uh, get let the crippled walk again. Sorry, Donga. From Provolone Loaf. sue Oh, you also want an oh woo From Zunami. Jim, did you know that the only or only true alpha male spend time at Bowling Alley hosting debates about globalism instead of being with her newborn child? Well, you know, you bring up a good point. Who wants to raise a kid? I need to go to the Bowling Alley and listen to somebody from Twitch Talk about globalism. (laughs) And then get punched in my face and have somebody put 200 pounds of coleslaw in my truck bed. That's better time spent. From White Willow. A woo, Daddy Jim. Exiled Postman. I'm a hollering. Shadow Humor. Jim is my father. From Pisac. Five star days only. Half-eaten hooker. Do I look five foot one to you, bitch? From Bryden. Got a new job, so here's some shekels for you, Jim. Thanks for all the entertainment. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Super Crusader, get better, Papa Jim, and keep it a hollering. Anderson Paladin, whole hog on the gut hunt. Tall, skinny geek, we are a fixin' to holler. And we are a hollering. No make it up your mind is necessary. From Hyperion 9997, Ralph says, Sue! RJ Plankson, Sue, pill rattle. Uh, Bread Enjoyer, ah, uh, yes, a good, or I enjoy a good pig roast. From Richard Gruber, the word brown in front of the mirror reads N-word. I think you've discovered a secret of the universe here, Richard. <laughs> if we made a modern-day uh, Shining, I'm sure that's what they do. 
Why would they write brown on the mirror? Oh my god. The dead people are racist. From 40 McNuggets, start a weekly podcast already. From Razor987, could you wish Fred Pie and Mr. T. Happy birthday? It's a Chud Hollerin month. Well, uh, Fred Pie and Mr. T, happy birthday to you. From Skimmerlet, Anime X Anime Way, or Anime, <laughs> Anime Avenue X Anime Way. That's uh, where it is. Bottom in a plate carrier, sub to Rogue, THQ Russia. Do you think Dick's body is breaking itself to keep away from Ralph? It could be some immune response. Uh, some some kind of special uh, specialized like T cell or B cell response, where his body sacrifices itself to get away from him. I mean that's a possibility. From Chorgan Scorehammer, I'm gonna be a hollering. Serious make negative actual movie coming out called Operation Mincemeat, and all I can think of is Tilly Law. Academics, academics, please respond. <laughs> From Alex Explosion, hey Papa Jim, looking forward to new Jimco merch. Can I get a new woo? Well, yes, you can. Taylor Stanley, I crap my pants, Jim. I'm sorry. Well, Taylor, you need to protect yourself. If you have shit in your pants, Ethan Ralph's on a truffle hunt, and you might be in danger. I'd, I'd, I'd jump in the shower immediately and start to wash your nether regions, or there's going to be a, a hollering hog trying to put a snout up your shitter. Hopefully we can get a pee in chat, pee to pray for him, so our boy here doesn't get truffle hunted. I don't know. There's a bit of a delay, so I'm going to assume that chat cares enough to give you a pee for prey. As Ralph is on his uh, his his uh, truffle hunt for your shitter. <laughs> oh. Imagine if you created... Like, imagine if nobody knew who Ralph was, and you made him as a fictitious character on, like, Live Journal. Do you think anybody would believe it? Like, if you just took the real things he does... And you made it that a fake persona on a, a, a social media site, like a live journal. Do you think people would believe that's a real person? Or would they be like, no, this is complete bullshit. There's no way there's some dude huffing shit on the internet trying to own the A-hogs. Oh, let's see where did I leave off. Cerebral Parasite. Uh, at your core, you're a scared old man who's simply afraid to die. That's one of my favorite Ethan lines. Right up there with uh, your wife cooks dogs and uh, Gamergate this and Gamergate that. Oh, and starting COVID because apparently I'm responsible for that. So uh, those are those are my top four, really. From Raymond Peltz. Does anybody know where the bathroom is? From Maggie. Mamenko, I can't hear you. Oh, let me get my bottle for this one. Mamenko, Mamenko. There we go. Caleb Lambright, can you put one to 800 uh, domino scroll, please? I don't know. I don't know. what. Oh, one to 800 dominoes. Oh, I see. From Mason, we are hollering. From QWERTY, I now have given more money than Ralph has paid to support his son. Ooh, hurtful. I didn't say it, but QWERTY did. So let re let's read that again. It's for $5. I've now given more money than Ralph has paid to support his son. From Doc Window Licker, you sound like Jake Gyllenhaal with your farmer's tan and your sultry voice. From It's it Spins, Ralph will DMCA this stream. He's coming to get me. From Johnny Arcade, the Kingpin Invitational was everything I hoped for. Now who has the pictures of Mershon bowling shoes? <laughs> can his little T-Rex arms put bowling shoes on? Is that possible? Can he can he reach down that far? Did he ask? To, maybe that's why Dick left. He got a whiff of that fat fuck's feet and he was like, I'm out of here. From Big Guy. Worst Korea hollering at Kim Jong-un right now. It's me, the Lightbringer. Rage pig in a blanket. Fright like bacon. From C-Nut Arbuckle. Daddy Jim, did you look or did you lock us down? P.S. Shout out to my boy, Jonathan. That's right. I, I locked us all down to make you go to my merch store and buy this incredible, incredible merchandise. Oh, my God. Look at these offers. Look at these offers. All part of my master plan. From Road Warrior 2. Nice to see you again, Jim. I've been busy getting cancer up in Fort Mac, and I'm glad I caught you on my off day. From White Willow, thank you for streaming on my birthday, Suwi. From Provolone Loaf, Schroederinger's Pig, both hollering and a fixin' to holler. From Ocean Redux, can I get a... I can't... At this point, my my throat is killing me now. I don't know how many more Suwees I can do. Can I get a... Suwi? I'm a hollering about a trophy that's taller than me. I'll be back. I need to clean my underwear after getting punched at my own wedding. 
from ZT Max. I should definitely pick up a Ralph Bass next time masks are required outside. <laughs> you should wear it everywhere. And when people say, why are you wearing it? Say, Ethan Ralph told me. He said this is the only way we can all protect ourselves. From the Kicking Turtle, I took the vaccine. Tony at work, Medicare, check out the law call. Cyrax, Chance, just Google a picture of him. Trust me, it's worth a laugh. From Rock Merchant, hello, Jim. I've been a casual consumer of your content for 10 years, but I never contributed. So here's 20. Hope you feel better and your condition improves. Well, thank you. From Wiz Daddy, Ralph's uh, now the new king of hate, according to his Twitter. <laughs> DSP's retired the moniker. From Chase Weiler, I love super chatting. Kill all pedals. Jim, you need to apologize for unleashing Ethan Ralph upon us. I'll be waiting on that apology letter, cancer man. Well, that's right. I've got other apology letters to write. Ralph wanted me to write one to the world. <laughs> he wanted me to write one to the world for uh, COVID and the lockdowns. Ralph is a little unhinged, to be honest. From Heath J. Cheers, Jim. From John Doe. Hi, Jim. Wishing you the best. Could you shout out my buddy Andy who uh, with an awoo? Yeah, Super Age just like you and a schizophrenic and has a gun. Well, a woo, Andy, from Ryan Cunningham. Mad respect, bro. Thanks for the years of entertainment. Why do you think we, or who do you think would win in a fight between Smacks, DSP, Jeb, Worski, and Ralph? Oof. I'm going to go with Jeb. My final answer, Jeb. Indigo Jack, shout out to my dad for being a good father so I didn't have to pretend Jim is my fake dad like Ethan Ralph or Coach Red Pill. <laughs> Colin Stevens, swinging by Twitter to see if it's the only failure of a swing in his life. Drop a big, er, obligatory jail mention here. From Based Ramen, such a brave stance you took, Suey! Oh, fuck. <coughs> okay, the Sueys are finally hitting me. Oh, oh, it's like glass. From Doubles, hey, oh, shag, na er, shag nasty. Hope you're feeling well. You better survive cancer. I will anero myself and you will be to blame. Also, cunt blocked me from Twitter. Love from the UK. Tiago Garcia. Hollering pig could, uh, would be enough to feed an African village for at least two months. Mr. Holgrain. Gonna ruin the pork if you keep roasting this pig. From Johnny Average. Daddy, no. The night that's blue. Jimbo, can you uh, can you give us a shake? Well, I yes, I can. That one doesn't hurt my throat. So I can give you all the shakes you want. Oh, you got to love smoker logic. My throat hurts. Let me light up a cigarette. <laughs> oh, we're such stupid people. Oh, let me, oh, let me sing you the song of my people. <laughs> uh, the Kraken. Hi, Nate, Ellie, and Ellie. It's me, Mr. Medicare. Oh, Eli. I'm sorry. Hi, Nate, uh, Ellie, and Eli. It's me, Mr. Medicare. From Bergman again. Never forget Ralph graped Alice. He graped her right in the mouth. It was very trad of him. Thank Christ for IP2 leftovers. From Blank Thing, I'm hyped for Aethersor or Acerthorn and the Dylan Thomas stream. Well, it's going to be a wild recap at the end of the month. From Scott Ryan, Christ is Kang. Marcus Andongo Arias, my favorite part of the stream is when you spam click the mouse to shill your merch. So you can shill your merch for me one more time, Daddy Jim. Yes, I can. Let me just uh, pull that, that store link up. I'm sure you can. Yes, I can see that it's registering on the microphone and picking up the clicks. You can kind of hear it. But there you go. There you go. Always glad to shill a little bit. From Huge Wiener, I love you, Jim. Here's for your next EKG. From Carlos, wow, Ralph is such a rude son. Isn't he, though? From Ted Cruz with a top down, the lawman took his hand. Yee yee. From Hubris, James Patrick, oh, Fauci, locked us all down. Sui. From Cartographer, hey, hey, people, Jim here. Michael in Seattle, shake, 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 shake your bottle. Of Zanny Berries. I don't know if anybody's done that remix yet. Uh, it would actually make perfect sense, though. From the Larry Blah Berry, take my wagey KG bucks, Jim. Jim Parcho uh, showing some pigs emoticons with some pill emoticons. From Pog, Ralph's shirt should have said overfed. Uh, well, people have done edits of Ralph's uh, fed shirt. <laughs> some saying overfed, some saying corn fed. They're actually some very good edits. In fact, you know, while we're doing this, let me put up a, uh, a another picture. Let's uh, let's see what do we got here. Let's put up one. Just just uh, there we go. Look at that. That's uh, I want that staring at chat. I want chat to be confused. Why is he reading super chats as his man looks in three different directions? That's what I want them to think. What exactly is happening here? 
uh, Veggie Bad. Remember the IBS apocalypse where everyone except for Worski acted like a sped with if which IBS host will implode next? I, there are none left. It's just Ralph decided to do it like eight times in a row now. From the Royal Wraith, that's my purse I don't know you, Rage Pig. From John Mulder, my donation to the Anti-Hog Bullying Fund. Play the Brigandine sequel on Switch, Jimbo. From Ozzy Mandius, Medicare, are you a Yang, Reinhardt, or a Rubinsky guy? I'm going to roll with Re or, uh, Yang and Reinhardt. Mario Carter 13, Ralph is so mad at people punching down at him that he went bowling with one man physically incapable of punching down. <laughs> From Figgy, yes, Jim Slay. Tux loves you. Had a great time at the Kingpin event. Well, I enjoy the fact, Tux, that you were able to get in there and get some live footage for us. Again, uh, Tux on his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, shit, I don't have a link to it directly on me. Uh, you can get it from Flamenco if he streams later today. Uh, got some great footage and then got kicked out. It was very sad bullshit. Tux was a, a good boy. Didn't bother anybody. Just minding his own business, trying to give people a stream because Ralph was two hours late to his own event. Probably forgot to mention that. Charged people $65 two hours late. Nobody's streaming anything. If Tux hadn't have been there, nobody would have seen anything. So good job, Tux, on uh, getting some footage. From Ender, I hate the Antichrist. Love you, Jim. Sweetie Squad, RRU, a woo. From High Ruse, Jim, do you feel, uh, how do you feel about Destiny? Uh, about his uh, banning karma, would you ever talk to him again? Yeah, I thought him getting banned was stupid. And I wouldn't mind talking to Destiny again. It's just, what I, I what are we going to talk about? We're kind of, we're, we're different people and I don't really talk about politics anymore and he doesn't. Maybe video games? Maybe maybe Destiny wants to talk about video games we could do that? It's, I, I, I don't know what else. From a name I can't pronounce, have Mercy Papa Jimbo, uh, or have Mercy Papa Jim. Ethan Ralph is still one of the most successful, well-adjusted people in the history of Memphis. From Nate O'Reilly, uh, we miss you, Jim. Please take a stream with Dick Masterson. You two together will make gold. I have a feeling if I went on stream with Dick, Ralph's head would explode. So let me put that invite out there. Hey, Dick Masterson, I'd love to come on your live stream. <laughs> Let's see how mad we can make Ethan Ralph. Hit me up, Dick. Hit me up, Dick. Let's do a let's do a live stream together and see if we can get you put on the shit list. Chat, do you like that idea? Should we should I do a stream with Dick Masterson and see if that makes the Rage Pig just have a complete fucking meltdown? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the reaction would be, but I don't think it would be pleasant. He'd be getting screamed at for weeks. Poor Dick would be getting yelled at nonstop. Oh, chat saying do it. Well, there you go, Dick. The audience wants it. They're lusting for it. They're interested in it. I'm seeing ones, yeses, and do it. Uh, from Young Sloshy. Hi, Alex. Love you, babe. Lord of Vapor. Are you? Never forget Big Red. Danny Dung. I always had a great time watching. Cheers, Jim. I'm glad you liked it. Deadweight Nero. Ralph seething, weeping quite fattily into his mic, even. Domination animation. Or dominization animation. If you feed the rage pig corn, do you think he'll holler extra loud? I'm not sure what he'd do. He'd just store it for the winter. Like a chipmunk stores nuts, but he stores it on his gunt instead. Stupid ugly. Damn you, uh, Jim, for starring while I'm at work. Gotta play catch up. Love you, though. Stop, Moss B. Portugu. Tux loves you. Let me know if you want to hear about my time at the event. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll hit you up. Maybe when I go on Dick Masterson's uh, live stream, we'll bring you on, Tux. And we can have an inside uh, scoop on what it was like at the event from your perspective, too. For watching your videos as a young, cringy teenager, you made me self-reflect and live a normal life. Hope you get better. God bless. Uh, Shamu was an amazing read. Please read Koku no Hito, Sunken Rock. I'll take a look at it. From Polyfrog64, Jim, to play this stream uh, stream out, can you play Heaven and Hell by MC Jarbel or World's Best Dad? I think that will be the cap of an amazing stream. You know what? Let me pull it up right now. People wanted Weatherman last, na or last time. We did Wellerman instead, <laughs> which I don't mind. Uh, I like a good sea shanty, but let me get MC Jarba pulled up, and let me let me just get it ready to go so I don't fuck it up. Now, what were the suggestions you had? A heaven or hell or world's best dad. Okay, I will I will play one of those as the outro. We've got our outro music picked now. It's ready to go. I won't fuck it up. It's all queued up. Emperor of Holy Rome, fellow Minnesotan here. Jim, are you a boat jet skier, platoon guy, a uh, pontoon guy? Do you got a snowmobile, ski local, wild, troll, often, or Welch, or go west to the Rockies? Uh, what is your favorite thing to eat at the state fair? Ah, uh, shit. I've been to, like, Trollhagen in forever. 
uh, and I would be a pontoon guy. I used to go out on the lakes and stuff. Uh, it's very nice, very relaxing. Just uh, have 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 a drink, have a meal on a nice pontoon with some people. Nice still lake, very good times. Especially on like the fourth or something like that. Uh, but you know, as everything gets modern, they don't really do Fourth of July celebrations uh, as well as they used to. So it's not like you can just kind of chill out and watch the fireworks and shit like that anymore. I'm getting old. Old man, Ralph was right. From the Turkish Zoo, uh, guys, Jim's pronounced it Portugu because Ralph went there and took the L. That's very true. Lord of Vapor. If you don't chain smoke 24-7, are you even living? It's a good question. And an answer I intend to find out. Scott Ryan, Gunt's neck about to swallow his face. From Tortheo, is that Gunt Dimidome, owner of Guntdale Dimidome? Uh, Reverend Brandon War, the Rage Pig needs to read Matthew 7, 21 to 23. It applies to him. Ah, that would require that he could read in the first place, Reverend. From BSLT, I got a dad cap, Jim, you filthy coin enthusiast. From Cassandra S, she still didn't violate my diagonal Kung Ni last time. Rip, can you ask her to come home and do it? Thank you. Cassandra wants, <laughs> wants somebody coming home. There you go. From Peter R, does your merchandise store carry Rage Piggy underwear complete with authentic 24-hour stream poop streaks? Does it come in any sizes other than XXL? I think because uh, Teespring sells things on the internet, um, everything is sized in XXL. <laughs> I know the audience, I guess. Uh, from Rudolph Branches, Ralph has gone from Big Chungus to Yosemite Ham. What cartoon character is he next? Oh, what cartoon character would Ethan Ralph be? Is there like a, a Walt Disney character, a Looney Tunes that eats shit out of women asses? I don't know. I mean, that doesn't seem by, very child friendly. Chat, can you think of any cartoon character you've seen that will huff shit out of someone's ass? Was that like a Bugs Bunny skit I missed? Did Elmer Fudd shove his nose up uh, Daffy's uh, pooper when I wasn't paying attention? I'm not certain on this. I have to, I have to give it some thought. I guess, <laughs> is, what, is what I'm saying. I have to give that some thought, Rip. Uh, Cassandra, if you haven't played a Triant Legend of Tyanding, oh my god, all this gas is coming up. Again, it's coming the wrong direction, so I'm, I should be safe. From Alpha Bet, hey Jim, thought you died of lung cancer. Anyway, here's a pack, or here's some money for a pack of camels. From It's Me, the Lightbringer, good for Ralph continuing the cycle of father figures ignoring their son by ignoring their own. From Colin Stevens, do you think Mersh has car envy from Elijah's BMW? Oh, I bet it drives him fucking crazy. From JB, now listen here, Yank. Don't lump all of us south or in the south with Ralph. Don't make me holler. I am, I am, a, you, you bring up a good point, JB. Ethan is his own brand of disaster, regardless of uh, the geographical region from which he hails. From Lucid, the poor security guard is just doing his job. Here, Jim, buy some smokes on me. Also bought a hat for the Cancer Fund. Hope you get better. Peter R. PPP fat, quartering fat, Matt Jarbo fat, Ethan Ralph fat. The lesson in all of this, we need to find a solution to the obese people problem. I think it's called Weight Watchers. Maybe we can dig up Richard Simmons and like, you know, uh, marionette his skeleton into uh, doing like a YouTube stream to lose weight. Moist John. Sovereign Ralph, free traveler of the parking lot. Road Warrior 2. I don't know. Or I know you didn't follow uh, Shingeki no Kojin, but did you at least get a chance to laugh at the total disaster? Was its conclusion? The fan reaction? I gotta tell you, my ass was blasted. Yeah, I've talked about this numerous times before. Uh, if I turn this into an anime stream, people will scream at me. Uh, for another day, Road Warrior. Happy Nooker. Remember that scene in The Deer Hunter? <laughs> Alan down under is Ethan now dark side Phil no Phil is more successful from placeholder Medicare are you okay you seem to be laughing too much we at Twitter understand that laughter leads to suicide and there's nothing better than supporting a victim than by sending a takedown that is true <laughs> Twitter will occasionally take things down if you type out lol evil eye flegal shekels for laughs is rage pig kosher I don't think it is from blue green Jim have mercy he has a daughter mercy from Ray Gillette Ralph embraced the full basketball culture, not meeting his first kid and bailing on the second before he even's, before he's even a day old. From Ocean Redux, let's go Nick, the only lawyer that drinks and watches anime, roast this piggy. Andrew Thorstein, or Thorsten, uh, not by the hair of my chinny chin chins. From Octozazel, haven't laughed this hard in a long time, GG's. 
From Hank J. Wimbledon, learning to draw and struggling with eye symmetry, making my drawings look less like Ralph is a fantastic motivation to improve. No one wants to see him. You know, let's switch that picture up. We've got the Funko Pop one. Let's go with Soy Ralph for a while. What a nightmare. Doesn't this look like something that should be the thumbnail to like a Dr. Creepid creepypasta video? Like some unknown SCP video, maybe? Like this some some fucking thing that comes from the void to eat your soul. Just look at it. Look at that picture. Look at that picture and shudder. Uh, where are we here? I'm losing my spot. MF. Thanks, Jimbo. Now I know to name my band Holler and Hog the Rage Pigs. We had some big money donators, so let me run to them. League of Extraordinary Macho Pippi. If her management approves, would you be down to collab with Pipkin Pippa? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind, but there's no way they'd ever approve. From Dominic, hey, Medicare, can I get a shout out for my friend Ludwig World Order? You're a goddamn legend. Well, Ludwig World Order, you got a shout out from Dominic for a big $50. They've got faith in you. From Coffee and Sigs, Ralph equals STI meds. Rakeda, hey, daddy, love your streams, Jim. From Placeholder, Jim, please stop laughing. Oh, that's, I think I've read that one. Anaka Adventure, look at the pics of Ralph. It's blurry around the edges. You can actually see his stench aura in real time. Is that true? Can we see his stench aura? Let me go back. Oh, you kind of do see the fat wafting. You can see the smell. Oh, imagine it. Imagine the smell. Let's go with Trophy Ralph. There we go. I think that's a good Ralph. From Mr. Ree, Ralph needs a refund for his shirt. They didn't put the well before the Fed. hi -o. From the Ninja Sasquatch, the fact there's an IRL connection, legal or not, between Ralph and degenerate Digibro will always be hilarious. Makes fun of Cancer Man's anime dungeon, then marries a lollipop con. From Big Guy, hollering up and down Ukraine, we frying like bacon. From Arcade Outpost, hey you guys. Radio Free Hyporia, or Hyperborea. Good to see the gloves are off for Zeguntmeister. You don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit in the wind. You don't pull the mask off that old Lone Ranger, and you don't mess around with Jim. From Jophis Oglethorpe, thanks for the years of entertainment. Well, you're welcome. Uh, Planeofmischiefdom.com. Hampshire wants on stream. Oh, I wonder how Hampshire's doing. I actually love that project. I haven't really checked up on that guy in a while. I hope his, uh, his dream... <laughs> His dream of an underwater utopia and a sky fortress are going well. I wonder if he'll ever make like a, a mobile base, like a mobile Hampshire base that's also aquatic and can fly. My God, think of the fucking possibilities. A super drone Hampshire. You could send it to you could send it to the Ukrainian conflict. What if the ghost of Kiev was one of the Hampshires from Hampshire and we never knew it? Hampshire guy was winning the war over there and we were all unaware of it. It was a little hamster in his wheel. Flying his little hamster drone. <laughs> Taking down Russians left and right, and nobody was aware of it. That's how he got away with it. He's so small. Nobody could fucking see him. Uh, don't worry. The audio didn't cut out. That was just me lighting another cigarette. And for a penny and for a pound, can't get any worse. From Thunder Chunky... You'll have a permanent fear of Maracas. Poor Ethan. From Anta Huynaina, um Romer. Last I heard of animal taking Xanax, a chimpanzee ripped a woman's face off. <laughs> washboard or washboard man. Ethan and Alice are like a uh, uh, deleted Toy Story scene where Mister or Miss Potato Head cucks the piggy bank. From Hey Dalu, I'm a hollering Bing Bing Wahoo Potato Brother. From the Bobinator, Ralph is truly a supreme gentleman. You know what? Now that you brought that up. Because we like to break it up. I don't want to just be Super Chats nonstop. Let's take a moment and really appreciate chat. In case maybe you got in late. Maybe you just showed up and you missed the whole thing. So let's appreciate the Ralph Sim video one more time. Some women are made to be treated like whores. Most of them. As a matter of fact, this is just a, a standard operating procedure. And he's, he's going around... Falling around and all doing all this simp shit. That's not what this slut respects. Do you understand? Tell her you want to stick your dick down her throat right here in this fucking bathroom. I got fucking half a gram of cocaine on me. I want you to suck my dick right here in this fucking bathroom, you dirty slut, because that's the type of shit you like. 
That's what gets your dick sucked. Not. No, no. Dirty skank doesn't respect that shit. She thinks you're a beta. She thinks you're a pussy. Tell her to go in there in that bathroom. I'm coming. I'll be there in a minute. Get ready to fucking choke this down, whore. You know that's what you want, bitch. Literally. That's how you, that's how you, I'm trying to help him out here. I'm trying to help him out here. Beta! Just, just try to help him out here. Sorry if there's a little echo. I accidentally had desktop audio playing too. I cut it out midway through. Old man's getting confused. Oh, what can I do? Uh, channel, channel. Here's Tensui from Sakon D's Nuts. Javagrun. I butchered your name. Let the darkness grow from our rat. Oh, we've already read this one, but I'll read it again. You look beautiful today, Pippa. From Megadoom95, who has a bigger gut, Ethan Ralph for Dark Side Phil. Oh, clearly, clearly, Rage Pig does. From Road Warrior 2, pig organs are similar to humans that they can be transplanted. They can probably take human medicine. <laughs> a lot of people giving this some real deep thought. From Mr. Re, ironically, insulin used to be harvested from pigs for diabetics. Ralph is an oinking contradiction. The Turkish Zoo, it's obvious Ralph isn't the father of pants whose child horses and pigs can't crossbreed. From Dan Wolf, I wonder what happened in his life that led him down this path. I'm going to say about 10 hand injuries and a father that didn't love him. From Psychic Scuba Diver, no joke, I'm a pharmacist and you can give animals human drugs. Dogs get Xanax all the time, so why not give it to a pig? From Mason, laughing at degenerates, what a life to live, eh? Sprawl 297, Jim and VTubers, truly, this is the year of the chud. From Albert Co., uh, Squealy Squad. Sergeant Jelly Donut, I'm here now. Say, ah, Daddy Jim. Say, ah, say, ah, Daddy Jim. You're a great man. Keep at it. From Azathoth, uh, he's the same height as Destiny. I actually think Destiny's a little taller, to be honest with you. There are a few angles Tux caught. Maybe Tux can, like, uh, look through the footage and try to get a comparison. But I think Destiny's actually edges him out. From Judgment Kazi, I like the Fed is on Ralph's shirt. Also, you fug. Say goodnight. How are you feeling about IDUB's upcoming boxing event? Also, Sam Hyde is training with Harley from Epic Mealtime, according to Harley, during the PKA podcast. I'm out of the loop on this, but I'll, I'll take a look. From Mystery again, Ralph may not like basketball Americans, but one look at his AV setup shows he sure likes their engineering. <laughs> and what well, you didn't see in the video, too, I, you know, I didn't play it because there's a lot of copyrighted music in it, uh, but uh, Ralph raps, I think that's on Sunrise Media, if you look it up. Uh, Ralph, standing outside Blaze's headquarters, uh, starts rapping uh, terribly and dancing. From Al Cid, Leon, good seeing you back. Jim, pig splattering or slaughtering the gunt out of oblivion. Also, Flamico is saying hello in his stream. Oh, well, I missed this. This is probably already past due, but how you doing there, Mimiko? How you shaking the bottle, Mimiko? Uh, Brock Bravo, the slaughtering of the rage pig could feed five bowling alleys worth of Mersh's. J.C. McCants of Face Ralph has baby arms and like 65 chins. Very true. Road Warrior again. I absolutely loathe the shitlib worm destiny, so it says a lot when I take a side in the face of Ralph's Mickey Mouse debate event. <laughs> a lot of people felt that way, I think. Skulger Thane, if even 10 people showed up and paid the entry, he made back quadruple the production value of that debate, quote-unquote. From Plumpy the Bathroom Guy is a troll. I bought his ticket. Well, well played. I thought it was simply a bar patron. They got confused as to why some fat guy in a stupid hat was trying to talk to everybody while they were drinking and uh, <laughs> making their troubles go away on a Saturday night. Uh, Radio Ruin. The only reason this didn't turn into Tanacon is because Ralph could never pull those numbers. Oh, never anywhere near that. From Asphyxiation. Friendly reminder, pigs were once a valuable and life-saving source of insulin. Unless you're Ralph, then you have to steal the pancreas of other little piggies. Bubblegum Gun. Russia strong. Ukraine is a rogue province. From Razorwind VT, Jim, would you be interested in joining me for a stream? We can talk anime, gunplay, and other weeby nerd stuff. Sure, hit me up. From Merlo Williams, Adam from Houston, another podcaster got thrown out too by pretending to be a CIA drug runner. Oh, that's great. Oh, I bet that made them all so mad. Where are my drugs? Why are you? This is sugar. This is sugar. You sold me sugar, you asshole. This is a cocaine, it's salt. Exiled Postman, who is shorter, Destiny or Ralph? Uh, I'm going to go with Ralph. The Atlas Marvel, no clue what this is, my man. 
but I know it's Prob's godlike content in a nutshell. What the fuck is going on and why do we hate this dude? I think pity is probably more an accurate word or point in laughter. If that's a German phrase for that. Ezra Silverberg, how much lower can the rage pig sink? Can I get a big fat suey? If there's no bottom limit, Road Warrior, what are your thoughts on Destiny anyway? Didn't you debate him once? Yeah, we debated once on stream like six years ago. Uh, and I, I don't, again, I don't know if he even does politics anymore. I think he got shit kicked from uh, Twitch because he said something about uh, men and women competing together. Uh, but I don't know like what the, I guess the thrust of his content is now. If he's like mostly gaming stuff or if he just talks everyday shit. I, I don't know. From Rickzilla, bust out them diapers, Daddy Jim. From Foley, shake, shake, shake. Uh, Salman Grunty. Remember, every time Ralph calls Jim old, Jim's only four years older than him. You know, that's actually funny in those DM leaks from Alice. I, I don't have this particular one. Uh, she brings up his age and basically calls him an old man. So, the you know those simp texts where he's buying her shit off her Amazon wish list? She already called him old. <laughs> he's trying to buy her favor, and she calls him. It's like, uh, remember that story when they all got together and CRP was at the bar and, like, the waitress called him old and he spazzed out? Kind of like that from Pisek. Because it's funny, Ralph. From Solomon Grunty again, Chegat 1318. From Roy, sorry I'm late, started watching Gunmo, then forgot to tune in. Hope you're getting better, Jim. From my Coco Dog 47, Ralph Mail has taught us how to be the best fighter. First you take a punch to the face, then you scream for help in the takedown. Yeah, it was very womanly. You can't scream, you, you'd have to... He's telling everybody he has to be dragged out and uh, uh, he, he'll die before anything. Uh, but the second he gets a little heat, he's screaming for security. From E100, Mega123, imagine being the cops that have to get to this bowling alley twice because some ham pig can't keep his fucking mouth shut. Arrest him! From Low Loopy, always got bad vibes from Ralph since you first guessed it on his podcast. So satisfying to watch him implode like this. Thank you for so many laughs. From Xenomancer, when life gives you rage, Piggy, make bacon. Nice to see you streaming again, Jim. Don't let the cancer get you down. From Christorian X, hey, Daddy Jim. Ralph bet me on air a thousand dollars that his horse won't leave him after reading my post on the farms while driving. Would you uh, would would you mind reminding him? I'm not sure what your post is, but uh, Ralph, if you're watching this, and we all know you are, apparently there's a bet in place, and you're supposed to make uh, your girl read something. So we'll see how that turns out. From Mister Ree, pretty sure the pounds of cheese-like cholesterol that your heart is pumping against will kill you, Orson. From World Warrior Two, hey Jim. Do you have any stream about the downfall or tranification of that other Jim, the Sterling one? I I don't know what Jim Sterling's up to. Um, I'm trying to think, what was my last interaction with Jim Sterling? This would have been a long time ago. I think it was when Mario Odyssey came out. Uh, Sterling had put up like a... Or was it a... I'm trying to remember. I think it was Mario Odyssey. Uh, Sterling had put out a Zelda review that people got mad at. And so I copied that. And then I edited it to make it seem like he was shitting on Mario Odyssey, calling it a 7 out of 10 subpar game. And people fucking freaked out on him. Uh, it was pretty funny. He did a response video to that, calling them idiots for not realizing it was an edit. Uh, Radio Ruin. Ralph shouldn't have taken his sunglasses off during his I don't scare rant. You can see the desperate fear in his eyes as he warbles. Warbles is a great word, and I hope it comes back more when describing Ralph. From Karn Moses. Ralph is a new knockout game. Ranbot 1. Sui. From my Coco Dog 47 Sergeant Ethan Gunt Ralph was ahead of the charge against the weak attack of SS Uber Lieutenant Scheitenstorm Stoffel, where Ethan stomped on a pinned Nazi. Oh, we got one from Mamenko. From Flamenco, he got in trouble for doxing another Cozy streamer, so he didn't want to get in trouble since I'm on Cozy, LOL. Is that true, Ralph? You didn't want to get spanked by Big Daddy Nick Fuentes? Were you given a stern talking to, Ralph? <laughs> You can't say shit about Flamenco or Nick's going to punish you. I get scared, Ralph. White Butter. The guy asking the panel for the toilet just saw Destiny taking a shit on Ralph and wanted to join in. That's my fucking favorite comment for the night. Thank you, White Butter. <laughs> Perfect. Sparky's Tech Corner. Who would even be scared of him? Please drive through Oklahoma, Ralph. Swedish Chef. Please do that stream on Dylan Thomas sometime. Uh, we'll be covering him potentially at the end of the month. Brett Bauer. In Montana, we put uh, hats on hogs all the time, so I'm confused about who let this swamp hog ride a horse into a bowling alley in the sky. From Eric the Red, Ralph threw seven gutter balls, yet won a bowling tournament. What a superior athlete he must be. You know what? Let's uh, put that trophy. Oh, did it come down? Shit. I'm sorry. 
Let's put that trophy picture back up. That's his big, amazing win for the evening. From Obsessed, the White Pig Animal Sanctuary of Schooler VA has been notified of the aggressive rage pig with breathing difficulties and vision problems. They said that it's diseased, and if you see it, shake a pill bottle to scare it off. <laughs> That's uh, good advice to stay safe out there. Grimpify, I went to this, and while it was a shit show, I still had a good time. Glad that you're laughing at this so I can enjoy it with your smoky laugh. From High Difficulty, I heard Gunt Team carried the win, or carried him, and he didn't even share the trophy with them. Yeah, that's true. Chagat's not going to get it. Ralph is taking it home. <laughs> Ralph paid money. I bet he's going to return it. Holy shit. Do you think that's what it is? Chat. Wait a minute. Deep thoughts now. Let me. I, I need to pull up chat so I can see your thoughts in response to this brilliant idea. What if, what if Ralph is so cheap, chat, that he rigged the bowling tournament, not because he wanted the uh, trophy for a prize for his ego, but so he could return it for a refund? Is that possible, chat? Did Ralph rig the bowling tournament so he could just simply refund the trophy because he's that poor now? Is that why he declared himself victor? <laughs> Did he steal it to get that money back? Oh, wait. I know there's a bit of a delay. But I think, I think you know, deep thoughts, man. I think this, this, this idea has some legs on it. Somebody in chat saying you rented it. How do you rent it and then, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, he refunded, everybody's saying confirmed. This is now um, scientific fact, Ralph can never deny it, chat agrees. Ralph rigged a bowling tournament so he could refund the bowling trophy because he's poor. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, perfect. Don't let him forget it. He kept the receipt on that one. Uh, beguile me, Jim, you live in Gunshead, rent free, well done. From Ram Badger, the loathsome, uh, loathsome dung sniffer, VHS Paradise. Ruff has a weird obsession with pee and poop. He does have a weird obsession with shit. I will give you that. After watching him literally huff it out the ass of a woman. Future 87, why does uh, he look like Storbach Jim Ross? He does, doesn't he? Jacob Steele, remember to thank Nolan Cancelous Jim. Oh, we read that one. Uh, Road Warrior. Was that the same video he got charged for revenge porn for? So he got exposed as a corpophile and might go to prison. High difficulty. I love how despite being carried, the gun didn't share the trophy with his team. Uh, well, we just went over that. He's got to refund it. From Killa McKellington. Thanks for this, Jim. Here's some shekels for you and Jade. Your wet presence will be eternal. Do you think Ralph drinks uh, beer from a dish? I think he drinks it from a trough. La Party. Insane stream, Jim. Loved it. Shout out to Pippa from J Dog. Hey, Jim. I'm in a similar situation. Been trying to get in the mail for five years. Mind messaging me how you did it? I agree to pay their 15k fee for the first app since they don't take private insurance. Still didn't get in. I had to go through a circus of referrals of going from specialist to specialist and working my way up. And it is a fucking nightmare. Uh, J-Dog. Uh, okay, that's your that's your Twitter account? Okay, I'll try to hit you up on Twitter later. Let me just copy this here. Hold on. Okay. Uh, Josh Hilton, he likes poop. Is he actually Gunty King? Uh, th very true. He does like his poop. From JB Behemoth, uh, Ralph in a hat reminds me of a horrifically gunted Yosemite Sam. From Tux Loves You Again. The gosh darn fig Tux loves you. Nicholas uh, Cruiser, thanks, bud. Slayer Raven, 10 out of 10. Thanks, Jim. From my wife and I. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Exile Postman. Jesus also cursed at a fig tree for some reason. Waffle Rider. Well, you do a deep dive into Ralph Lore, uh, perfect excuse to do a five-hour stream like what you did with Mersh. If I did a Ethan Ralph dedicated stream, it would be 12 hours long. I don't know if I have the stamina for that. I would have to have literally every person that's interacted with him on just to keep the stamina going to do a stream that long. It would, it would literally have to be everybody from Andy Worski to fucking Flamenco to Josh uh, to fucking uh, Gator Zidane, I, I would literally have to have everyone on for my own for my own needs to be able to do a twelve to twenty four hour stream covering. That's how much shit this guy has out there. Outer Haven, NYC, going to prison will be the funniest piggy moment from Ken, who has it worse, Rage Pig or Anthony Birch. I don't even know what Anthony's up to. I couldn't tell you to be honest. Tenchi, I was in the background as a pixelated set of Legos on a gym stream. Mom, I'm famous now. 
from Nop. Thanks for the stream. Uh, Ted Cruz from the top down. He stopped that boy real good. Ain't it neat? As he be Brown. Review of Jimco. Gunter Ball extravaganza. Four to five. Good enough. Inaugural episode. Yeah, sure, Jim. <laughs> That's what he called it. He called it, you know, Ralph, I, I don't know if he's serious, if he's going to do another one of these events. Maybe he'll re-rent the trophy and somebody can try to get it this time. From Good Friday. Hi, Jim. I don't know what you've been up to, but I wanted to express my sincere gratitude I have uh, for your efforts over the years. I hope you continue to grace the internet with your insights for many years to come. From Overdressed, I was a normal girl for, before the Ralph Bowling disaster. Now I huff gasoline so sad, sniff sniff fun. Marcus Andua uh, Arias, by the way, saw you looking for the Weatherman song last stream. Uh, yeah, Valley of the Wolves. Thank you very much. From Danny Bung, I always have a great time when you stream. Trevor Zero, Chegget is a powerful kind of stupid. Also, it's amazing Ralph can sober up instantly the moment he realizes he might face a consequence for his terrible decision making. Now, it says I'm caught up. I think there are a few more. Let me make sure I... I'm trying to get to everybody's here so I don't miss anybody. Uh, just give me a second here. Okay, just one sec, everybody. Oh, God, I hate when it does this shit. Okay, almost with the Super Chats. Uh, Xenomancer, when life gives you rage. Piggy, make bacon. Uh, nice to see you streaming again, Jim. Don't let cancer get you. I feel like I read that one already. Danny Berg, I have uh, always have a great time watching. Cheers, Jim. I'm glad you liked it. Sir Dead Puppy. Help, my pet goldfish is on fire. What do I do? He was just swimming along, and now he's on fire. Oh, also, you rock. But you have uh, many more streams to come. Sui! Oh, you want a bottle shake? Let me give you a bottle shake. There you go. There's your bottle shake. From Road Warrior 2, favorite anime from last season was My Dress Up Darling. Did you see it? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Call me naive, but I hope the popularity of romance anime like that inspires the men and women who watch it to think about and treat each other better. From some Fugut, the corn has been harvested. Flynn's, uh, Flynn's Modius. Hey, Jim. Here's a funny event that happened. After Bionicle ended, the writer helped a uh, canonization contest on a forum called TTV, and we got oh, Hosserix? I, I am not up on the Bionicle stuff. I do remember last stream, everybody was telling me there's a shit ton of stuff going on in the Bionicle community, apparently, though. Uh, Ice Mexican. Can a pig just have a nice Christian polyamorous marriage with a horse and not be accosted? From Michael. Final fate of Ralph within the next two years, six feet under or occupying a jail cell with a well-hung black man named Horse. From Triggers McNickers, the greatest piggy moment was on Monday Matt's live stream when Ralph cried for Big Daddy Jim to console him with petty lies about the two being special internet friends. From Horace, hey Jim, do you think it's a, a dumb idea to move to Italy, study politics, try and become their PM, and evade Tunisia? No, I don't. I think it's a great idea. <clears throat> Sorry, voice is finally catching up to me. I say go for it. Dream big, do big, Horace. Or should I say Prime Minister Horace? From GSPI 1005, careful Jimbo, a stream like this will get PETA on your ass for violent animal abuse. <laughs> uh, Minute World, this event made me actually want to go out bowling with my dad. I can guarantee that would be a better experience than this. I have some fun. Go bowling. From uh, Decimus Gelt at the world's most talented programmer once said, God is perfectly just. Thank you for all the good years, Jim. From Not a Moose, Jim, we're praying you make a swift recovery from your button ball cancer. You bring joy and laughter to our life. Keep it up. Good work. Brewmaster Monk, I was there Sunday or Saturday for the whole night. There's no way it wasn't a honey trap. A portion of the crowd felt like they were being forced to be there because they were caught breaking federal laws. <laughs> That's a possibility. From Maximum Ride 039, hey Jimbo, can you flash that piggy merch again and wish Zach a happy holler and birthday? Let me put the pig merch up. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. Uh, happy hollering birthday. And there's your pig merch. Oh, yeah. That's the nightmare fuel. There you go. Untitled Richard Nixon fan account. Pay pigging. Pun intended. My mula to Jim and the Sweetie Squad just wanted to say Mickey is a something bad for getting a history degree. From Dan Salato. Ralph said the Zannies are good to help for thing or forget things. Do you think Reason or Reithen takes his antiberries to forget Tyrone in prison. That's a good speculation. I'm not sure. From Nicholas, check out Absurd... Okay, I can't. My voice is dying on me now. It's your Lost Son Scrubs new channel. It's good to hear everyone's still alive. Absurd Chuary is the name of the channel. Stacy Sparkle, hello, Jim. Good stream. Very sad your biggest fanboy, uh, Flam, didn't see your Twitter DM in time. 
Also, shout outs to Smaggle Daggle. He's a disabled gig or kid. Uh, Road Warrior 2. I suppose you're more of a surrogate older brother. Too young to be my daddy. Who named me? From Jen, uh, Jen Petrio. <laughs> Race Flam Wright is an Augustine. Last surrogate son turned into a real rage pig. Spin a boy. Good news. Check your Twitter for some more sped dating videos. Also, can I get a no woo for my good uh, Niga Jesse colon three? Are there actually more sped dating videos? That would be fantastic. Uh, Lorgar apologist. Hey there, Pippa. It's me, Daddy Jim. How's my favorite anime bun doing? Let me tuck you in. And remember to send me rabbit's foot pics in the morning. <laughs> Connection error. Hey, Jim. Can you do an ASMR? Ara, ara. I promise not to clip it. From Esme Brown. I underpaid you last super chat. Gamergate will be eight years this year. Jesus Christ, I'm still traumatized uh, by the memory of everything that happened as a result. Aren't we all? From the Tropy Show. The guy who called the threat is the same guy who called threats against Tim Pool multiple times and ruined Wayne Lambright's life. I shit you not, it's <laughs> Morton Shecklestorm. <laughs> the infamous Morton Shecklestorm strikes again. <laughs> it's, it's like a rabbi discord, and the leader is Morton Shecklestorm raising hell on the internet. Nobody's safe when Morton's on their ass. Mr. Shecklestorm's coming. Uh, from Lemmings, Ethan, it's me, Ronnie, your father, and I had to abandon you. Look at your gut. Ah, ha, ha, ha. From X Kill Kenny X 69 hey, Jimbo, great stream. Can't wait for the art contest. From Dave, thank you, Farmer Jim. Please have a live stream with Destiny. Uh, oh, wait, okay. I jumped down a little bit here. Sorry. Uh, Kunst Krieg Kino Pick Studios. Thanks for the update, Jim. Always a pleasure. Again, offering my book on Fighters, Cult, etc. to any viewers interested. Kafka Guy on Gmail or Twitter and philfairbanks.com to drop a line for a copy. From underscore Jim, did you change the name your daddy gave you? I'm a hollering now, so you lose, Jim. From Lor our Lorgar Apologist, hey now, hey, look, listen. Basically, basically, I'm a, basically, I'm a gonna have a, you killed. Now, wait a minute, look, listen, that's not true. From K Vibes, Farmer Jim corralled the rage pig into his fecal pig pen. Please fed the boar his corn and slaw or he'll starve. Can I get a pill shake for your buddy, Momenko? Love you, Jim. There you go. From Cave... Oh, no, I read that one. I'm sorry. The fucking Super Chat thing's screwing up on me a little bit here. If I if I miss you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure I get everybody. Uh, SRJS Cam. Those eyes are an indication of neurological damage. Then again, so is everything else about him. Well, I think he broke his... He had like an orbital fracture, right? So I think it's the muscles that attach the eye, um, which probably means it's healing. I don't know if he'll be cross-eyed forever. He'll probably heal up, but it'll be like six months, seven months of that. Uh, from MacMad13, hey, Jim, first time super chatting you. What are the chances Chagat's video is used to put Ralph in jail? Thanks for the streams. Get well, man. Uh, it would be ironic if Chagat's video did that. From Dominic, hey, Medicare, can I get a shout-out for my friend Ludwig World Order? Oh, oh I've read that one. Okay, so now, I'm, now I think I'm almost caught up completely. Uh, Strata McAdley. Are you familiar with Chagat 1318? Uh, no, we saw Chagat on, on uh, the uh, the Ralph stream. And he used to be part of Baked Alaska's crew. I don't know if he still is or not. Uh, our rat, Pippa, I would love to do a collab with you. Xenomancer, Ethan Oliver, Ralph is an SCP that doubles the number of chins it has every time it hollers. Dovin Death, check Ralph's Twitter for cartoon characters. Check tw Oh, check Twitter for Ralph's cartoon character. From Celius, did you see Wings fans have moved on to a big woman sidekick who's becoming trans? Uh, no, I did not. From Cheap Whiskey, I'm back, Jim. Buy Kirby in the Forgotten Land on Switch and help our pig boy Kirby fight a degenerate pack of furries trying to kill him. From Maga, rest in peace, Jeff. From Lawrence, Monday Matt innocuously suggests... Er, <clears throat> Monday Matt suggesting that he sees you as a father figure is the, be <laughs> is the best thing he's done. Bonus, uh, Destiny talking about how incompetent Ralph is at any sort of admin and killing his event for him. From Nguyen Gingolf? I'm butchering that name. Do you reckon Ralph is the reason behind the pig-human hybrid conspiracy theories? Uh, very potentially, yes. These bad seeds. Have you seen that uh, Sam High documentary about I or from iDubs? Uh, no, but I saw Sam's video, and that whiteboard at the beginning is the funniest shit. From E.G. Burt, uh, DDG for life. Kill all petals. How do you think the Ralph saga ends? Jail suicide or a diabetic, or a diabetic coma? I foresee, I don't know, man. I, how can you, it's like a fucking, it's just a hurricane. It's a shit hurricane. How do you predict an end to that? From Artem, eh, 
Squealy Squad shirts when Danny Jim from JB Breaking News. Jimbo, Coach Red Pill was just crucified by the Azov Battalion. His last words were Sargon New from Nightmare. Can't wait for the hyper bowling at the Gunter Ball extravaganza. Classical positioning. This is so much better than Jerry Springer's Rage Pig for Life. Frame rate real. Dylan Dumbass from Richard Fitzwell. Is there poop on the corn on the trophy? If it was real life accurate, there would be. Asphyxiation. The audience must know. Do you dislike Jersh? I've already said, I've already spoken on this. I, I don't watch Jersh. Also speaking as a former fat bastard, why do certain big fellows in the sphere of the internet feel like a compulsion to go after people's weight? Uh, I, I don't know. I think the compulsion is just to typically make fun of basically anybody for anything. <laughs> like uh, CRP, when he did that stream from the uh, hotel room, where he looked like he had, like, he really looked like an old, like your, like if you picture in your mind like an old Jewish grandma, that's what he looked like. He had like the bathrobe on and his hair was white and all wild and stuff. And like, I could just picture him looking at that, like waking up at like two in the morning to make you pancakes by hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, from Chris Story next, there's supposed proof Ralph somehow won with a score of 88. 88 is what won at the bowling tournament? Holy shit. Uh, Sandwich Man, would you ever go on Smagle Dagle's show? Uh, Northwind, hey Jim, John from New York here. Can you do me a favor and call my buddy Ethan a uh, uh, cunny file? What's your favorite team in Girls und Panzer? If you started watching it so far, love you, Big Chud, and have a good night. I've not started watching it so far, but I did pick it up on discount. Uh, Cedric Feldman, shout out to my homie Tux. White Willow, will you still be making Bully the Week merch? Working on it. From Shab, say happy birthday to Flamenco. He wants you to wish him happy birthday and needs help with changing his name to Augustine. <laughs> we'll get right on that. Uh, the Thinking Cat, uh, Neo Normie. Will you cover T.S. Kami Keflas from Twitch, who has a Teen Boy Cat Ratch Discord with some of the yikesiest takes in his pure femme tonka? I talked about it briefly. Um, oh, oh, we got something from Eric the Red. Masterson said yes on Twitter. Is that true, chat? <laughs> are, we going on the, are we going on the dick show again? I'm looking forward to it, Dick. I think we're going to have fun. And Ethan is going to scream at you for this if you really did say yes. <laughs> if you really did say yes, he's going to scream at you and you know he is. Uh, but looking forward to that, I will I will get that set up with uh, with Dick. Think it, dream it, do it. Somebody in uh, chat saying, uh, I'm a little pip, yo, let's go from Matthew Harder. Think it, dream it, do it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, boys, here we go. Oh, of course, but only if we did not talk about anime. Is that what he said? Agreed. Agreed. We will not talk about anime. Well, there you go. What a way to end the stream. We've got something to look forward to. I'll be going on the Dick Show again, not to talk about anime. And I've <laughs> who knows how that's going to end, but it should be fun. Will Ralph ambush me? Am I going to be screaming outside the gates of Blaze saying, You did me dirty? You did me dirty, Dick? You did me dirty, Dick? I don't know. <laughs> but we'll definitely give it a shot. Now, to close out this stream, I did. He said, Hey, I, uh, we got that super chat. I think it was Polyfrog64 said, uh, DeGunt, either World's Best Dad or Heaven or Hell. Let's uh, close it out. Uh, Heaven or Hell, I think, is a newer one. Let me find it. There we go. Let's close it out with that one. Uh, chat, thanks for coming by. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I had a good time. We'll close it out with DeGunt and look forward to uh, the Dick Show appearance. Will Ralph ambush me? Will he not? Will he have the bowling trophy or had he refunded by then? We, you'll have to tune in to find out. 